everybody's so nice to me. Happy <laughs> birthday, dude! Oh yeah, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Happy Gosh, birthday. Dang. Uh, everyone, hi. Uh, how's it going? Happy first episode of Indigo, but also happy birthday, Roma. Happy mm-hmm. birthday, Roma. Happy birthday! You have a Thank lot of nerve you. being born on the same day as the first episode of Indigo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Twitch so... chat was already so nice to me. They spammed me with happy birthdays already. <laughs> so... Have you gotten a gift sub yet? I have a gift sub right it. now. Someone gave it to me during um, Salif's episode. Okay. okay. Oh, fantastic. Very nice of them. So this is our very first session and our very first attempt streaming on two services simultaneously. So, yep. uh, hey, Twitch chat. Hey, YouTube. How are you both doing? Um, we're starting a little bit early. Uh, just as a just as a comparison for what's going on here. Um, there is a slight difference between both, uh, bo- both experiences on both channels. Um, the experience on YouTube actually has no music. Um, it is more of a, I don't know, it's, it's more of a podcasty one. Um, and the experience on Twitch is going to have all the video game music that will get our YouTube channel extremely taken away from us. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if you're on YouTube and you want music, please head over to the Twitch. Otherwise, if you're on Twitch and you want no music, head over to the YouTube, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you you know the you know the drill. Also, let us know if there's any issues going down because you know we we could use the feedback. We'll work to fix them. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, really quick, I do want to say that uh, we now have an official Sabby Discord. Yes. And uh, if you join it, it's uh, it doesn't have a lot in it. It's just there to talk about the shows that we have streaming on the Twitch channel and Indigo as well over on the YouTube side. And also, if you are a Patreon for the $9 tier on the mm, Windrose yeah. Patreon, you'll get access to a little secret chat to discuss the info you get from subscribe- from donating to the Patreon there. It's all nice and good. Um, what is our Twitch? Twitch.tv forward slash stabbiness. I'll drop a link in the, uh, YouTube. And for um, the record, big fan Discord, which I'll also drop a link to in chat, in, a, in the Twitch chat in a second, still yes. exists, still being used for mo- pretty much all the same things. So feel free mm-hmm. to join one, feel free to join both. Please check out and, the Patreon. And he, yeah, here is the Patreon if you want to subscribe to the uh, $9 tier for the for the private Discord, blah, 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 blah. That's my shilling. <laughs> I yeah. did it. Oh, well, no, it does order. Order. Holy shit, that's a lot of subs. Thank you. Thank you. So you did it all before God. eight, too. Yeah. yeah. And I do have one more shill to give. Um, if you like the stabbiness shows that get streamed on here a lot, uh there's in the, the art reference server, which you can find a link to in the fan discord. Um that we're there's a art zine fashion oh. themed Yes, fan- there's the art zine going on what? right now. <laughs> yeah. It's a fashion, it's a fashion design where we're drawing a lot of the characters from our various oh. shows in different yeah. fashion attire. Uh, I did not know this. Uh, yes, I Jay. This. <laughs> Smiley face. I Jay, I have, I have done something very kind for you, Jay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What? But yeah. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, we're still, we're, the window's still open for new artists mm-hmm. to come and apply. If There's lots of characters who haven't been grabbed yet. If you want to join that, please give it a look. It's also uh, the the um the you can um you can join up until the twentieth yeah. of June, I think. Oh, yeah. That's uh, plenty so, of time. Yeah, that's, that's really fast. Uh, just because uh we have since we are streaming right now on YouTube and a lot of folks on YouTube uh might not know exactly who everyone is, so I really want to oh. quickly go through and introduce everyone just right quick. Oh, wicked fantastic! Smart, wicked smart idea. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna look at uh the the thing alphabetically and just go down. Christian, go. Okay, I'm Christian. I'm playing Teach today. I also do Thirteenth uh, God and uh, make the JoJo system. So I'm really excited to play this nerdy orc. She's great. She's fantastic. <laughs> great Exciting. Uh, Brennan, you're up. 
Hi, I'm Brennan. I, um, if you if you're on the YouTube, you know me from Thrilling Intent. I play Harlock. Today, I'm playing Beretta. She's a, a cowboy and the class president. Um, I also wrestle. <laughs> J Man. Hi, I'm J Man. I do everything that has ever existed behind the scenes. <laughs> and <Roma. I'm... laughs> Wait, sorry. You... <laughs> and I'm the streamer on Twitch. That's it. Perfect. Okay, Roma, go. Hi, I'm Roma. I play Cassius in this, and I'm not in anything else on the YouTube, I don't think, but I run Lyft on the Stabbiness um, Twitch and am in some other stuff, and I did a lot of art for this. I did both Teach and Bread as icons, as well as Cassius and thanks. several NPCs. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Jay. Uh, I'm, I'm the GM for this session. I put a lot of work into it, and now I'm like... God, I'm just I'm just excited to run this shit. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty good campaign. I hope you enjoy it. Mask. Hi, I'm Wandering Mask. I'm technically co PM. Did doing some map and some of the art, and I'm in a JoJo <clears throat> themed stream called Lost Times over on Clockwork Grunt Twitch, and that's about it. Killing it. Oh, oh yeah. People on the Twitch are telling me to also tell everybody that it's my birthday because we didn't say it during of my Of course. Intro. It's yeah. Roma's birthday. I turned 23 today. It's Roma's birthday. Ah, uh, a good age. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, last but not least, Amy. Say hi. Hello, I'm Amy, also known as Yam. I'll be playing Selif today. He's a little uh, snowy owl bird, very nerdy. Um, and when I'm not doing that, I sometimes run randomizers on Sundays on twitch.tv forward slash stabbiness. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, real quick, I want to shout out our good pal Burnerator, who is yeah. currently streaming to YouTube for us very kindly. Uh, Thank you, so Burn! Hello. Thank you, Burn. Hi. No problem. I'm going back <laughs> to... To relative obscurity again. Pew! <laughs> Bless you, Burn. That was awesome. So, so, with that, I think we're more or less ready to start, but I want to I wanna just talk in the campaign really fast, because presumably there are here without any knowledge of the setting characters or the prologues, which is fine. That's completely okay. If you just decided to tune in tonight because you see, saw the first episode of something named Forgotten Indigo... Fuck, glad to have you. Um, this campaign is an open-ended horror comedy dating sim visual novel nightmare mashup that it's I... It's Persona. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like a, like a lot of it. Um, it gets more Persona every single time we play. Uh, it's, it's a game that I've wanted to run for a while, and it's a game that I'm exceptionally glad to have this crew of players, like, for. Um... This is also, I, I should point out, this game might be a little different than what you're used to in that it is, there's no real chapter structure here. There's, there's, no, there's no set, like, goal. We have no idea what's going to happen in the campaign. Me and the co-GMs simply set up a multitude of dominoes, and we are counting on our players to knock them over. You'll be introduced to some of those dominoes as we work through not only the intro, but the little opening bit that we're going through. That being said, if you're ever struggling to remember a character, part of the setting, etc., we have put together a comprehensive world anvil that's basically like a, a wiki. Um, and that is keeping track of what the players discover, when and where. And if you subscribe on the Patreon at the $9 tier, you can see all the work-in-progress gifts that are... They're not formatted super consistently, and I'm kind of embarrassed of a few of them. They could use some bug fixes and patches. Uh, you can you can basically take a look at the dev kit for the for the campaign uh, in that case, and you get access to a discard. But yeah, um, we did all these session zeros to set up this very beginning, um, and here we are. If you want to check them out, they're over on the YouTube. But otherwise, just sit tight. I hope you have a good time. Um, we've been excited for this for quite a while, and no time like the present to hop right in to Forgotten Indigo. Let's put it over here. Oh, 
Hold on one second. Okay. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> I've got to grab our opening music. I'm scared. It's fine. No. And this is this is also something very important. Whatever happens in this campaign, successes or mistakes are all part of the story that we're telling. I I hope you guys all enjoy a true true exercise in improv storytelling. Indigo, the blooming flower of the south. First of all, music playing for you guys? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> no. That's fine. Roll 20's yeah. given some Roll 20's going to give us some shit. Yeah. Um, I'd suggest reconnecting. Yeah, if I mean, you can. I got the music when you restarted it. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Um, then it I, went away because somebody stopped playing it. I need the music for this. As I said, mistakes are part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, if you giving you it. giving you an adequately low bar to clear is was my intention with the intro. Giving us an adequately low bar to clear was also apparently Roll 20's intro uh, intention with this introduction as well. Uh. It's just how it'd be. So, as I was saying, you guys got music? Yes. Yeah! Fan-fucking-tastic. Indigo! Blooming flower of the southern province. A jewel set on the border between Lancia and Windrose. This bustling hub exists as a trade nexus, a joining point between Lancia, Gylardia. It exists as this fusion, a point where ideals, money, and different cultures are exchanged freely. This city exists as one of the cruxes of modernity. It's a great play to, place to vacation, and hell, an even better place to live. This idea, this myth of Indigo, was spread amongst the various foreign nations. People came from afar to visit it. But over time, this reputation was tarnished, shattered over the course of a single night. A delusional period of six hours, a confusing space of time, space and time that seemed to vanish along with the morning mists. They called it the empty night. Some sort of curse or hex brought upon the city by a noble family. In a moment, Indigo's order was shattered. The nobility, the Marigold family, was banished from the city along with their dogs, the police force. And in their place, a new order was established. On the east side of town, the Calamity Tempest was brought in by the great corporation Aranea. Mercenaries paid to enforce order in place of its former rulers. These authoritarian dogs were meant to bring peace to the area of Old Town, but they weren't alone. Across the river, the tide's edge was established. Factional rule had decided the tempest wasn't enough. There needed to be some smiling face, something to remind the people that Indigo was still Indigo. Yet even they were not alone. A fleet arrived in the harbor of Indigo. Former traders from Gylardia carrying cannons, a heavy payload pointed at the city. A constant reminder that Indigo was their city as well. Yet at the heart of it all sat the university. Sort of the last bastion of Indigo as itself. This institution existed for years upon years. A, <laughs> a final holdout. However, many of the teachers and students alike were simply waiting for exile. But within the university stood a single group that swore an oath, a hazy, hazy oath over a bar to spread truth and justice to the city, to invert a situation for a place that seemed all 
but doomed. Yet, this promise would prove exceptionally difficult. The shadows of Indigo ran deep, absolute. Monsters and chittering beasts beyond comprehension lurk in the dark, a truth that only this group seemed to be aware of. So, <laughs> they, shared, they shared a promise to help each other against this nightmare. The nightmare of a red city, cloaked and buried within the earth itself. A shared delusion of people caught up within this town. But even should they overcome the nightmare of this city, those horrific monsters, there are still other obstacles in their way. Different factions that lurk, waiting for their chance to steal the city away for themselves. This situation, I say, as the GM, is all but hopeless from my perspective. So, what I'm counting on you now, in this city that frankly doesn't stand a chance, is to invert my expectations, the expectations of the world. I am counting on you to save this city and discover what has been truly forgotten in Indigo. And with that, we are ready to begin. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that went over well. That was me pulling everything out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Happy I'm, birthday, Roma. Happy birthday, Roma. <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, boy. You uh, guys don't have to say it every time. No, this you is the birthday to. loading screen. You yeah. get it. Um, so, we... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show us, I'm gonna jump a little bit ahead because I want to show off this map while, while we're all here and focused in. Hmm. Let's take a look at what Indigo looks like today. Oh, good. The chill music is back. <laughs> That's a map. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, the city of Indigo, it's. As you can see, fairly expansive, and you guys are spread out all across it. Mm -hmm. The double purpose of this, this, uh, what you call it, this, um, the bond up icons was to show your relative location on the city and the location of any NPC you might want to interact with. Now, we are going to go through the city bit by bit and talk about what exactly is happening right now and what better place to start. With our boy Salif over here, making his way to the city for the very first time. Oh boy. This is, I'm going to make everything easy for everybody keeping track of the days. This is day 5-1 of the month of Ephigia. It's a Monday, because I kept the names of the days the same, but not the months. Because if I, if I named the days something fantasy, I'd go feral. Um, <laughs> the time it's probably about like seven thirty, eight o'clock in the morning. It's pretty damn early. Salif, you set off actually pretty late at night to come to Indigo, and you've been walking for a bit. You you enjoyed your little trip with the one Betel Illman and uh, his his familiar, but he left you at a certain point to go see to his own business, and you were set to walk the rest of the distance to Indigo on your own, actually. And you've done just that. The The landscape actually becomes increasingly wet as you realize the city itself is at the head of a river delta. Um, bridges sort of create this webway that gets you to Indigo, but something sort of unexpected happens as you close in. You, you approach the city, and uh, as you do... Uh, one of the bridges rises behind you and you're caught in a relatively strange situation. You, you sit, early morning air sort of pulling you out of that haze of the last night. And a low horn announces the rise of the bridge. Long chains begin to pull it up. And you, you realize you're on this... You're on this small little connecting structure, and the bridge in front of you is raised, the bridge behind you is raised, and 
you're you're stuck at least for the moment and then you realize somebody else is there actually um someone who likely came from inside the city she uh she makes eye contact with you and uh kind of like sheepishly waves uh hey <laughs> Wait, hang on, I gotta... <laughs> it's okay. it's funny you see this you see this woman with a long shepherd's crook sort of standing there she seems tired i guess um like it's weird to see someone out this early in the morning but uh she seems kind of out of it like there's some sort of sadness i don't know um she she seems equivalently like off put at the situation to you looking back and forth uh yeah i didn't realize many people were walking these days yeah well i i didn't have much of a choice <laughs> she she offers you like a sort of uh pained smile too yeah me neither um trains a little too expensive to that. <laughs> yeah me neither <laughs> <laughs> the two look back and forth. I, yeah, um, it's a a slow-moving object travels by, a mast sort of outlined in the early morning fog rising up. It's kind of picturesque in its own way. Um, I, she turns and looks at you. I hope you enjoy your time in the city. Me too. Um... Are you heading in as well? Shakes her head. No, um, I'm on my way out. Uh, had to visit an old friend. Um. Oh, I see. She looks down. Um, I, I know this is kind of sudden, probably weird, but watch yourself in there, okay? You know what? I'll take you up on that. <laughs> she smiles on that. Uh, she smiles at that and takes a step forward. Oh, um, yeah. Also, keep an eye out for... And as the words leave her lips, the fog seems to intensify, and the bridge once again comes clattering down, and you realize, with a thunk, you're, you're not there anymore. You're... Actually, on the other side, you just passed the dividing wall to the city. Um, and looking around, it's sort of shabby in here. Like, you expected the great bustling metropolis of Indigo to have some goddamn lights on or something. But what you look at in front of you appears to be some sort of narrowish alleyway. God damn it, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Solov kind of he's about to say something but closes his mouth and <laughs> looks around and just goes okay, okay. <laughs> and uh starts walking forward it's it's strange. There's almost like a melancholy in the air, like this early in the morning, maybe the city isn't alive, or maybe you're, hell, you're in a dead section. But as you look under that overpass, you, you, start to, you start to see something on the other side, and it's this, it's this, like, huh. Yeah. No, there's shadows over there. Weird. Um, you thought at first they might be people, and you felt scared for a moment, but no, those are definitely just shadows. Four almost angelic figures stand vigil on the way in. They motionlessly seem to hold the watch over the entrance to this city, and you can feel a prickle on the back of your neck. Something about these things it feels like even though their eyes aren't open, they're they're watching. Can a Celeb see what's making the shadows? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can absolutely take a peek. Um, give me your first roll to die of the campaign. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let me take a look. And choose which one you're going to lock in to... It'll just auto-compute your bonus.
and then you just click keep and the button and yeah uh, that makes a lot of sense <laughs> okay so Salif. oh boy you you take a look at these things and you you like you focus in and you're like wait a second hold on like these stone statues look awfully animate and articulate you are a student of goddamn archaeology and you have dealt with this shit before these things yesterday. look like yesterday <laughs> you are so ready for this and you you look and you're like mm -mm, for a split second <laughs> and you start to retract and you actually manage to catch yourself before before something happens, you can feel it. Um, something, something closing in on you from the uh, from the side, and you manage to take a step back, and something reaches out a reaches out a hand, and it only manages to grab your your like forearm, and you look at it, and this gigantic thing is towering in front of you, a thin layer of fog emitting from its mouth, and you. You get the fuck away. You back off and it only manages to make physical contact. Its mouth reeling open as if it's about to say something. And then there is a fucking explosion of force from around you. And they are all gone. And something immediately appears from you. Touching down on the ground, it makes eye contact with you. It gesticulates wildly. <laughs> it, what? It, 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 she, she's like, she's motioning around like, what? Actually, no, wait, there's enough stone and dust and leftover bits of fucking concrete on the ground. She stomps her foot. And a goddamn layer of dust lifts into the air and spells out what in giant <laughs> letters. <laughs> what was that? Giant letters again. <laughs> I thought you were with Beto. What? <laughs> it's she like start, and everything. She starts she she starts stomping her foot on the ground, taps taps her foot, and then gives you an expression that is just this half lidded glare. She she stops. I haven't done anything. Stop looking at me like that. I'm walking. <laughs> She she looks over and then like draws back to her full height and then more relaxed spells out in the air once again. I was dot 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 dot, but dot 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 looks around at everything. Hmm, thinking expression looks back at you dead in the eyes. You spelled out in the air are a trouble magnet. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my fault okay? just, I just want to go to school okay? <laughs> she she sort of nods at that and then Can like I... starts to starts to float up behind you uh, and then floats in front I will make sure you get there <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Much, much appreciated, I guess. Okay, thank you. Can I walk forward? Is it safe? She she shrugs. She's like, don't go out. No. Right, and then well, and then pops mad at me if something happens. She, I'm going. Yeah, she floats behind. And then like with hand outstretched. I'm not mad. I'm just perplexed. <laughs> The perplexed yeah. has a cursive tail on it. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. <laughs> you say as you walk into the city proper, and as you as you clear this gate, you get a much, 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 much more flattering image of the city. This is this is the indigo you were sold. This is the one that you came to see. <laughs> this. This is Indigo in all of its splendor, and you stand at the head of Main Street, and <laughs> for the first time, you you feel the relative size of this city. Let me drop you right there. 
Yeah, you looking around, there are people everywhere. Nest wasn't this big. The train wasn't this big. This is so damn populous. The noise, honestly, is deafening. Wow. She she floats up next to you and like uh you you notice that the shift like you notice something move in your pack you you get the feeling it's she shifted to t uh writing in your journal again <laughs> Salif uh, hurries to dig it out uh while asking her wait can anybody like see you or anything would this be a problem <laughs> She, Wait, I thought you couldn't come out during the day. She holds, she like looks at you again, looks back, uh, looks over at the people who are now watching you, uh, and then hurriedly writes down in the uh, notebook. Uh, she, uh, she tries to answer each question at a time, actually, <laughs> a little like, hmm, which one first? Thinking. Sorry, and then, sorry, one at a time. Nods. People generally, big Y on the end, dot, 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 can't see me when I'm a projection like this. It usually takes dot, 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 months. Looks at you dead in the eyes again. You learned in two hours. At the page turns, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll ignore that last one. <laughs> <laughs> uh she she turns back to uh the while i'm a projection and triple circles it and then little line off to the side this makes it much easier <laughs> and then turns a, a, a bunch of pages again also i'm hiding in your shadow smiley face hope you don't <laughs> mind smiley face <laughs> well i guess not as long as hey, no one sees hey you. kid you new in town these two <laughs> these two punks start to wa wander over you feel you a bunch of pages turn again and she writes down trouble magnet in bold <laughs> <laughs> so the thighs go into saucers <laughs> oh uh, wow you took the road huh that's don't rare you, these days. Don't you know there's a tax for taking the road these days? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tax called my wallet. <laughs> she she floats in front of them and like waves a hand in front of their faces, like, see? <laughs> Writes down in the journal. It usually takes a while for people to get attuned to supernatural creatures. She goes for a long and lengthy explanation that you don't read Self because you're currently being intimidated. Bill <laughs> closes the book because he doesn't want the thugs to see a floating pen. <laughs> <laughs> she looks slightly frustrated at that and then retreats back behind you. <laughs> so, yeah, you, uh... We're also, we also double as something of a currency exchange, you know? You've mm -hmm. probably got some of that out-of-towner money, and how about we trade it in for nothing? <laughs> it's a seal of a deal as long as you don't squeal. <laughs> uh, no, no, thank you! I think I'll just... Orbis floats on. next to you and is like, you, you want me to take care of these guys? Kind of shit. He takes his furiously. <laughs> Shrugs. <laughs> sorry, I have an appointment. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm afraid you are missing your appointment with us. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I have to cancel. <laughs> 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 he's running, he's running. <laughs> Oribus looks at them, shrugs, and then floats on behind you. This this guy over over at the tables just watches that shit happen while eating a popsicle. <laughs> just starts to fucking laugh as you book uh. it down Main Street. <laughs> you you make it you make it to to the second part of Main Street, this this big old expanse and yeah the people don't stop at any point you're starting to realize <laughs> uh 
she she keeps floating behind you and is gesticulating wildly trying to pantomime stuff to you. <laughs> so if, uh, he, he runs this way. He looks behind him. Are they still following him? They they apparently stopped at some point. You're not quite sure what happened. Do you want to you can you can make like you can make a roll to do with your yellow stat if you want to check. Sure. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Cool. Oh, fantastic. Okay, cool. Um, you you take a look at the last street, and like you you look over there and you realize like to a certain extent what happened. Um as you were as you were fleeing up in this direction, uh these two made a run past this guy and he casually stuck out a leg and tripped this man. There is now a full-on brawl in the sight of the guards. And you're just like, nah. Oh my god. Oh my god. He so scoots over to the alleyway by the flowers. <laughs> and like breathes a little. <laughs> Then he, he'll take his journal out and open it again and say, sorry, floating pen. <laughs> she makes like an, oh, <laughs> gesture. <laughs> then, looks, then looks back at that, <laughs> looks at you. Are you going to be okay? Question mark. <laughs> yes, I will be fine. <laughs> she like nods along like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, uh, I could do this. She floats out, looks both ways, points up in this direction, and then like like a university's that way, and then pantomimes clapping you on the back, and then just floats on your shoulder. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> she I'm going up right now. She blows an invisible raspberry at you. <laughs> <laughs> you uh say if you you continue you continue working your way to the university a little bit at a time your introduction to this city uh, actually a little more exciting than you expected uh do you, yeah no you see some fire yeah i see that just, just fyi you yeah. you know not- you notice you're you your, faster. Yeah, you're hanging around just looking at that like what the fuck? <laughs> uh once again scratch scratch in the journal. City sure is exciting. Smiley face again. Salif, you you beat you beat a hasty path to the skull. <laughs> I I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Elsewhere in the town, as it starts to wake up, we're going to focus in on some people who are just now getting some sleep. Oh. Actually, this isn't entirely correct. Let me let me move it more like this and like this. Okay, that oh, works. Wow. Um so I will say I definitely would have tricked Teach into going to sleep. <laughs> How would you have done so? You know, you can just take a nap. I'll wake you up in an hour. Never wakes her up. Doesn't wake her up. Lies like a liar. Oh, never wakes her up. Wakes yeah. her up in the morning when he wakes yeah. up. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, fantastic. Let's let's play. Um, hmm. Yeah, this will work for this. We can use a mallow theme. So teach. Mm-hmm. You don't remember where you are. Um, mm. It's this was probably yeah no this was this was the worst part of your life. Definitely this exact moment. You you mm. took a hit. You went down eating some of the emperor's temper for somebody else, and you were you were caught up on that hill, surrounded on all sides by brutal shrapnel. Twisting bits of animate mercury. You you remember fighting over the last few days. You remember driving and winning that hill at the cost of so many fucking lives. But now it's so it's so superficial. It's so 
nonsensically easy to rob it back from you with just a few blasts of superior Lancian technology. And you laid there, and you're wondering why you're remembering this now. This is a dream that you thought you put behind you. Maybe it's all the incidents lately. Maybe it's seeing the Black Knight. But no. No, 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 no. That, that's not why. You, you look, and even amidst all the devastating shelling, you see someone running towards you. Someone even younger than you who was assigned to be a courier on the battlefield. And you remember swearing far, far before this that you would get him through this battle no matter what. And that memory clutches in your chest because you, last night, you, you swore a bond, you swore an oath, and you felt a hole fill that it existed for the last two years. But in the process, in losing that burden, you also feel like, well, maybe losing a burden? You lose something with that too. And this memory fades away as you come to in your friend's apartment. Hmm. Let me drop you over there. So many fucking maps. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Christian. I'm Don't sorry I did that to you. <laughs> oh. You come to. You come to in Dodge's apartment. You're covered in dogs. <laughs> uh, what? What? And she kind of like sits there. Uh, oh. She kind of like lifts up her arms and hugs all the dogs on her lap. And <laughs> holds them closely. Easier said than done. There are many dogs. Oh. <laughs> I try to hug the one on the lowest later layer and then like work my way up. Oh, okay, okay. That's right. You were yeah. staying over at Dodge's apartment last night. It's two years ago when the empty night happened, a lot of folks were sent out of town. They were thrown into exile and a lot of pets were abandoned in the city. Dodge's apartment is something of an unofficial animal sanctuary. Honestly, it's just the person here before would just feed them and they started coming over here more and more. Dodge moved into the place because he's decent with animals, and the old landlord wanted someone that they knew they could trust the place. Mm -hmm. Teach kind of sits there for a moment, letting her head rest and just kind of reflecting on her dream again. Just letting the, the morning, the stuffiness just kind of be there like, oh man, what a, wait, wait, wait. Suddenly, <laughs> her her memories of that, still kind of heavy on her mind, are kind of washed away as she realized Hey, hang on a second. It's not. It's the morning. Cassie's. You, she just kind of like <laughs> sits up a little. <laughs> a little. Mm, mm. Arch. Arch. She, she is on the ground just staring at you flat as a board. Like. Yeah, uh, yeah she's like awake. Just, <laughs> yeah, no, she's been awake for a while, yeah. you guess. She's just uh, watching you. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. She looks at you. My, was I talking in my sleep or something? What's up? Hmm. <laughs> she looks at you a little more intently. Her body is completely rigid. It's kind of unsettling. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I, it was. <laughs> um. She. She. Uh. Thinks. Not talking. You had a sort of aura about you. Oh. Popping red oh. and violent. Oh. Fool. <laughs> <laughs> it was enough to wake anyone from their sleep. However, I am the only one here. Oh, she kind of rests her head on the pillow again. Oh, bother! <laughs> uh, I was, I was just wanting to give you a heads up. I'm going to try to stand up. The dogs might jump on your face. So she, she rolls like a tube of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of like, like sits up. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of just slowly <laughs> oh, uh, yeah I had a night no not, not even really a nightmare just just a bad dream I guess 
Uh, mm. She kind of slowly possesses her help and stands up. But today's a good day. It's homeroom day. It's the first oh, day of our yes. meeting. <laughs> she, she looks at you and thinks for a second. Can I ask you a question? Hmm? Yeah, of course. Hmm. She stops and thinks for a second, scratching her chin. Do you think, and you, you can, you can see something like it's, it's weird. You can see something, you can feel something coming from Arch that is actually sad and sort of familiar. Um, she, she looks at you and, uh, says, do you think burdens as we carry them have value? Do you think we're mm. simply hurt by them? She's going to attempt to empathize with you. Oh. So. Yes. Let's, I'm going to slam that fucking roll to do. All right. And I'll roll to die. Yep. Roll to die. Uh, Damn. Choose what to lock in. It'll do the math for me. I don't want to. Mm, <laughs> it's yeah, 14, yeah, it but good. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, oh, ooh. wait. No, sorry. I get to ban a color first. Uh, Arch yeah, is going to ban yellow. Oh, okay, okay. Respond red or blue, Ooh. baby. <laughs> I've got, I've got a, I've got a take. I think, I think it's a pretty interesting one. Yeah. Um, when she does that, Teach stands for a second and she reflects on her dream and she reflects on everything that she just felt. And she kind of like, ah, too early for this, but <laughs> she kind of sits down and then like, she just kind of sits there for one moment and then thinks, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. That's actually, I did math wrong. That's supposed to be a 17. Oh boy. <laughs> um, she, she pops her legs up on the table real quick. You know, it's really irritating actually to think about that, but yeah, yeah, no, they kind of do. It's, uh, <laughs> Like, she kind of rubs her head a bit. I, I don't think that I, I really, I don't think I'd be the same person if I didn't do some of the stuff I did and <laughs> go through some of the stuff I did. So, like, yeah, it is. Doesn't make it suck any less, but I, I wouldn't turn back anything, I feel. Mm. Not at all everything that that happens has happened and it means something for me but um i mean you can always though choose to go ahead forward without you kind of thinks i think the important part of some of the pain of feeling those things is the ability to recognize it and maybe kind of recognize hell i don't i don't want to deal with that ever again <laughs> and and knowing more about what you and do and don't like the kind of things you hate and the person you want to be. And yeah. Um, you said I looked all scary and mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, she kind of stops a bit. That's not the person I want to be. <laughs> uh, Arch is going to she's actually going to take a guess at what emotion you're projecting because that mm -hmm. that be how uh, this empathizing shit works mm -hmm. and based on your reactions and based on the way that you're acting in relation to her own attributes and emotions she is going to take a guess and say that you were blue and that is incorrect but that does Perfect. tell me more about what Arches Blue would be like. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So she um she she sort of tries to she nods along with you and um uh looks looks down at the table. Hmm. Well, you seem like a person with a whole bunch of stories. And it would be a shame, I suppose, if all of those if all of that was simply baggage or another scar. I'm glad you're making something more of it. She smiles. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, Teach just kind of like <laughs> rubs her the side of her head at that. Look, my life is full of a lot of 
crazy stuff. I got to tell you more about it sometime. I never get a chance on shift. She um, smiles. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, she kind of turns. When someone asks a question, usually they're struggling with the answer. So what do you think? Hmm. I would like to think so. <laughs> I, that, I would I would like to think I would like to think that even if we're all carrying stuff, it's not just that. Not another scar, not another burden to carry. Uh, it's something more than that, you know? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> she, 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 she she stops like, and thinks. Mm-hmm. Teach kind of stands up again and then does a <laughs> You see, she turns around and, and uh kind of like stands triumphantly. We are what we choose to do, correct? <laughs> She, giant dinner plate eyes, blinks a few times. I suppose that is correct. (laughs) Teach you assume a cool pose. (laughs) (laughs) I choose to be the teach I want to be. And uh, she kind of thinks, no, I'm not going to use that. She kind of like thinks over in her head again. Sorry, I'm I'm thinking of homeroom stuff. Uh, She she scratches her head. But that is true. She kind of steps back. <laughs> we are what we choose to be, and we can choose to change at any moment, no matter how deep we are in. Either a uh, first year, final year, and in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, life is a constant changing journey. I'm almost... I turned 44 this year, and I still have absolutely no feeling like I'm locked in one place of my life. <laughs> she, she like, she nods along like you... You think you saw the hints of an arch smile, which is an exceptionally rare thing. <gasps> um, but hard to hard to kind of tell. Mouth twitches. Mm-hmm. Well, I could think of a few people that might need a might need to hear that. So thank you. You are very good at communicating. <laughs> she just leaves it there. <laughs> and the <laughs> uh the door suddenly suddenly swings open. And two people who went shopping earlier return. Hey, we're back. Uh, hope you didn't get into too much trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Dog's uh, walking around. Locked in blue, teach, baby. Teach, <laughs> teach slams her two hands on the table. Cassius, how dare you? You're welcome. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Thank hold you. on, hold Thank on. You. Don't, don't, right. don't raise, don't raise your voice around knife bird. The bird next to you. Cassius. Draws the knife. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. She goes over here. Cassius, I, I, <laughs> okay, thank you, though. I, I did get sleep, but, uh, uh I, now I feel like I was lazy. Nah, nah, nah. it's cool. <laughs> I did that on purpose. <laughs> I, I know. I know you did. <laughs> he oh, smiles. wow, the duplicity. <laughs> Arch stretches. Uh, we're gonna make breakfast. You guys want anything? Mm, what do you have? Sandwiches, right, Cassius? Yeah, sandwiches. Hmm. Teach kind of hops down and then gets out of Cassius' way real quick. Yeah, I'll have a sandwich. I might have to go a bit early just so I can make sure everything's all set up, but, eh. It won't take but a moment. Okay, I'll just hang out for a moment then. I and, uh, the kitchen. I get to make breakfast. Yeah. Dodge takes <laughs> I, a second to feed the various animals. I bring the <laughs> I bring the hamster with me. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> mm. Teacher just kind of like sits down again, and then kind of just like, man, you really got me thinking now. <laughs> thinking is my pastime. It's pretty much all I do. Ah, <laughs> you feel like you're you help this person, baby? I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> Cassie is looking around the corner occasionally to see you guys communicating. He is happy. Ah. <laughs> well, if you ever want to talk, I would love to take you up on that. We can have a date. Oh, absolutely. That sounds wonderful. Um, Cassius, eyes sparkling around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, I could tell you some fun stuff about what I've been up to, and I'd love to hear more from you. I, again, I don't, I don't get an opportunity to hear as much. You don't, you don't seem like you're having fun whenever I see you at, she kind of looks back, the place. <laughs> she gets a very dour look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> A coldness washes over the living room. Uh, Cassius and Dodge. Cassius looks distressed. <laughs> Cassius and Dodge. Uh, would you mind? Would you mind, Cassius? Just give me a quick roll for sandwiches. Is that a Give roll me a to roll do to do, to do and make those sandwiches. It has decided. Oh, it has decided that you're pretty good at this, actually. Yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah, I, I, me, I'm just making, uh, honestly, I'm just making scrambled eggs with cheese in them no. and then frying some ham. <laughs> and that's all I'm doing. And then I cut open the little bread rolls and I put the lettuce in it and then I put the ham in it and then I put the scrambled eggs on top. And I just make a <laughs> bunch of doughs, like a lot, like a lot. <laughs> Cassius, you make a, an ass load of perfectly great sandwiches. Okay. Uh, here you guys go. I hope egg is fine. Oh, breakfast sandwiches. She, uh, goes over and grabs one and then takes a bite. Mmm. Good. Fantastic. <laughs> Good job, Cassius. And Dodge. This nourishes me. <laughs> Arch says eating. <laughs> okay, so plan is more or less we're gonna split up. You, you're headed to the university, right? Yes. I'm going to have to run my homeroom first, and then I'm off for the rest of the day. Uh, so, well, well, at least for a little break. So we'll be able to have a little meetup. Um, hmm, where should that be? I think I, I, uh, she kind of looks, I've, I've got the place. We can, we can work it out on details. Everyone's got their numbers, but, uh, yeah. And Cassius, Do uh, she need takes to be the bite. at your homeroom? Yeah. Or I'd oh. like you to be. You don't have to, but I mean, it's good. You're my TA. It makes sense. You're a teacher's assistant. You're moving up in the world. Mm-hmm. I feel mm-hmm. like a detective is higher on the hierarchy than a TA, but okay. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> uh, mm, mm. Uh, Arch actually nods along with that. Because it's, <laughs> like these these two are weirdly similarly wavelength, even though you <laughs> don't really, you didn't see it before. Dodge is like, I, I worked pretty hard to actually get my job at the, yeah, it's fine, whatever. <laughs> you did, you're doing a great job, but... <laughs> Um, okay. yeah, so should I go- drop by with Dodge, get the case approved, then go to your homeroom, or should I should Dodge go get the case approved all by himself? Mm-hmm. I can go uh, with him if you wish. I can message Calcabrina yeah, if you wanna if you wanna actually, uh, I'd say splitting up like that sounds fine. I'd love to meet your boss, but later, we have time for that. It's great. Uh, so the plan is Arch and Dodge, and then Teach and Cassius? Yep, sounds Excellent. good. Teach, perfect. Teach, teach a, well, that's, that's great. She finishes the sandwich. I'm gonna grab another one and, and, uh, and head out. I have a uh, bunch of them in the baggie, he <laughs> says, producing, like, a bag that is full of sandwiches. And then I left the rest of them in Dodge's fridge. Cassius, do people yeah. tell you that you're reliable? They yes. should. <laughs> Arch takes a step forward. Yes. <laughs> uh she goes over and, and and pats him on the back and then scoops a sandwich out of the bag while standing next to him and takes another bite. You're great. Let's go. <laughs> Hold on. I pet the hamster. I pet him. <laughs> I have a bond with this hamster that got stuck in the corner. <laughs> okay. I'll be at my shop until you summon me. Arch walks outside. I'm gonna uh, Knifebird, watch the house. Knifebird nods <laughs> solemnly. Cool. That one scares me. <laughs> <laughs> I pat Dodge on the back. <laughs> Dodge and the rest of the crew walk outside. <laughs> oh, 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 the darkness. Oh no, it's, gl- it's glitching. Oh no, it's glitching. Uh, Give it a uh, sec! <laughs> Bond up broke. I get a bond up with. (laughs) (laughs) Oh boy, thank you, thank you, Mask. So we follow we follow those of you at the start of this day. The first first official bond up of the game. Oh boy. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it'll be pretty difficult to top that one, but there's still there's still story to tell.
Yay. While we're while we're uniting the disparate pieces, <laughs> there's um, there's still a very crucial part of this tale, <clears throat> but important part might not be going over and checking what's going on in Beretta's suite right now. The important part might be acknowledging that all the players have maybe not taken the stage yet. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, finally, we get to see Jury. <laughs> a person they all think they know. Her lifestyle is one of observation and quiet. She spends her whole life in a lofty mansion, just staring out at the city and its people through the veil of her window, but also through the veil of who she is to others, the veil of her family's name. When they speak that name, it is as if she is someone a whole world away. Someone who stands tall, but unremarkable amongst the domino line of socialite society. How she's someone almost everyone has heard of, yet never heard. Thinking her only a whisper, drowned out by the, loudest, uh, the loudness of the city's voice. A kind of someone who you may cast a quick gaze toward, but dare not stare too long for fear of her importance. The person whom they've con uh, they've convinced themselves isn't really there. They think these things, but you only know what you think of someone, and what you think someone is, uh, and when you think someone is a non-factor in your experience, the person who feels a whole world away from you in reality is barely an arm's distance away. That person turns out to be the one who lined up the dominoes to fall. Of course, taking a place in line, as it is their game to play after all. The person whose eyes you cannot see will always see more of you than your own. That person's whisper is, is loudest to those that make them. I've been here the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on Hull Street, a very different story is unfolding. <laughs> Someone progresses down the street, damn near dance walking. Every single step carries power, authority, grace. <laughs> oh. Would you mind quickly introducing yourself? <laughs> Who, me? Little old me? Yes, of course. <laughs> who you do might we have see? known me from before. <laughs> Hi, guys. Who, who do we see on this fine day? <laughs> oh, on this fine day, twirling about in the lovely, the lovely morning light, you see Bijou. <laughs> this, you, you watch as this sprinkle progresses her way <laughs> down the street. <laughs> No one actually <laughs> paying her any mind. If you saw this sight, if you were a direct observer here, the first thing that you would do was stop and stare. Yet no one else seems to. Bijou, you got the call earlier this morning. Your office, the grapevine, the... The premier news agency of Indigo got a tip that something wacky is going down in the university. <laughs> <laughs> a apparently a certain bartender happened to overhear some things <laughs> the <laughs> previous night <laughs> and decided to reach out to a friend who reached out to another friend who reached out to your boss, who then reached out to you. You got the call much, much earlier in this, in this night. And you've been preparing, because you've been given a job. Investigate what is happening in the university, and why people would say it's haunted. <laughs> By the way, this is your very nice office. <laughs> My very nice office! <laughs> I'm very proud of this map. <laughs> it's very nice. It's not just a very nice office, it's a very nice street! Yay! It's a very nice city! Yay! It's a very oh nice boy! Street, you say Arch's Arch's <laughs> shop is the one directly next to yours. Smiling. <laughs> there's, 
There's a stink cloud emanating from that one for sure. I very much like the scary blue building. (laughs) (laughs) That building is more of a maelstrom than you realize. See, the bottom half is emanating a horrible stink cloud and death, while the top half is emanating life and actual greenery (laughs) growing out of it. It is a war. Uh, (laughs) So, Bijou, you managed to negotiate your way to the grapevine office. You've been you've been working here for a little bit. In fact, you're their ace reporter. <laughs> you're the one oh, who no. can you're the one who can get the stories that no one else possibly can. And as you as you walk inside, you look at shelves depicting every major <gasps> report. <laughs> <laughs> you look at shelves depicting every major story that the grapevine has covered the foxglove incident the mystery of the empty night you see a report detailing the ceo of rna arising to power all of these all of these stories were broken by one famous reporter or the other but none stands out more than your own reporting you are employee of the month all months because you supply (laughs) pictures that no one seems to well hmm. they present a perspective that seems simply impossible the position of the camera who's depicted within some of the strangest uh, mysteries of the city laid bare beneath your camera you you walk inside <laughs> Inhale deeply from the potted plant you take care of. <laughs> and yeah, you you look around your office office. It's um it's it's a little bit of a glittery mess, thanks to one of your colleagues who seems to emanate the stuff damn near constantly. <laughs> it doesn't bother you too much, but there have been complaints. <laughs> None from me, of course. Of course. <laughs> Slams open door. Good morning. <laughs> you hear you hear a thumping uh, from a distant office. The the office of your boss, actually, a one Salazen Umikawa. It is that Bijou? Is she here? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, she, sure. Just come out anyway. It's not like I'm busy. <laughs> DNA, uh, uh, set up, set up the conference room. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got team meeting. <laughs> Kyle, oh, for the, get out here. Yeah. Oh, very well. This woman is up to her eyeballs <laughs> in various forms. She's been hammering at this typewriter since he came in. <laughs> you just want, you, she just, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> this. Can somebody please, please install a hook lower down? <laughs> this this towering spindly unicorn man walks over very calmly takes takes your jacket presumably or is it a hat um it's like a little like a little shrug kind of shawl thing oh <laughs> he takes your shawl <laughs> and places it up on the uh up on one of the higher hooks i can of course get it down once you need me to <laughs> he nods <laughs> He is he is this spindle rail thin like a collection of chopsticks in the form of a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> he nods and wanders over to the meeting room. This is your daily ritual. <laughs> uh. <laughs> your boss smiles at you this big beaming grin. Hey, thanks for coming over so early in the morning. Um, I know I put you on the noir case as usual. More pictures are always excellent, but at the same time, we got something actually a little more important right now. <laughs> more important? What could possibly be more important? Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hides a cupcake on this desk. <laughs> 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 he smiles at that. <laughs> well, 
What's more important than noir these days? Nothing. That's what I say because noir is a significant part of our business. <laughs> he sits down. But what's important on this particular day is we have news that does not directly stand in the way of any of the factions. That's right. Stress-free reporting. A case. I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 is right. It is a case that does not obligate us to censor ourselves, control what is being written. It does not obligate us to hide information. It is simply a haunting. People love ghosts these days, and it is not related to the terror that the factions are raining down upon the cities. Hooray, he claps. You can see uh, but... Dione's eyes slowly getting brighter and brighter as he's pitched this perfect story that wouldn't get them all fucked, and as soon as he says ghost, she just fucking deflates. <laughs> you do too! No. You do too! But... In the opposite direction. Uh, you... <laughs> Ghosts? Re- really? You... Remember yeah. the part where... where... Uh, and you you remember this is a newspaper. <laughs> this, yeah. this isn't. I, I know we aren't quite there. We considered the off of the possibility, but we aren't a tabloid yet. <laughs> <laughs> it, here's the worst and weirdest part of this. This is this is one of our more legit sources. Remember when we busted that big story on Gylardia? Yeah. Um. Same guy. So. The ghost angle? I know it's weird, but here's the thing. He leans in. It might not be ghosts at all. Something strange is happening at the university. And oh, we've been God. looking we've been looking for any excuse to get someone in there. So looks over at Bijou. Number one member of the infiltration team, right here. Ace reporter Bijou. I've never been to university. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great time to start. He claps his hands together. This, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, I pulled a few favors to get you in at the door. Uh, just say that you are here. You are, um, what do they call it? Yeah, you're a mysterious transfer student. <laughs> oh, do I get to pick where I'm from? Yeah, I, yeah, actually. If I was thinking you could be... No, no, you're, you're the ace reporter. You, Yeah, where do you want to be from? Well, no, actually, if you want to tell me what you were thinking, that would be great because I could use some more extra ideas. Um, hmm, hmm. 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 <laughs> these two... Back. These two, hmm, back and forth and discuss discuss ideas. Uh, your, your, your big unicorn friend wanders out, comes back with a, with a cup of coffee, and, um, he, like, he, he puts one on the desk for absolutely everyone, and then seems to warm himself with it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna display this, because this is a perfect visual. (laughs) (laughs) He he stands calmly, attaining a moment of zen before sitting back down. This... This is your this is your friend. <laughs> this is this is Guileford. He is technically the he's technically the owner of the paper, but he didn't want to be the boss. Because being the boss requires talking to people, being loud, and discussing things, and he is a very, very quiet, withdrawn man. So that's where this boy comes in. Salazan Umikawa, the face of the paper. He is that loud, expressive one that you need out front, especially when all of the factions are constantly breathing down your neck, telling you what you can and cannot write. He's gone to bat for you on a multitude of occasions, Bijou. He's he's the one that if you get in trouble, he will probably bail you out. <laughs> he's got a he's surprising guy. Spot. He's your guy. And finally, this is Dione. She is the writer for this paper, and she never stops writing, ever. (laughs) She is so dedicated to her job and the perfection of her craft that she should, frankly, stand to probably be in a bigger newspaper. But at the (laughs) same time, you guys all together make up the Grapevine staff. All four of us. All four of you. Well, you've got delivery boys, etc. Yeah. (laughs) 
Mm. Just fucking chugs the coffee in one go. <laughs> Bijou does not. Bijou stoops over it almost with her nose half an inch above it and just. <sighs> <laughs> she will not drink it. <laughs> Do you want me to get you any more sugar? No, no, this should be fine. I mean, I'm plenty energized. I just need something to awaken my senses in a different way. Now, did you have a specific class in mind that I was supposed to infiltrate? Or is it just like walk in and ask people, hey, how you doing? What do you heard about? Any, any secrets, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, that actually simplifies things a lot because uh, apparently, according to my contact, someone loudly declaring herself as Martha T. <laughs> <laughs> Is the one who Mar Mar Martha Teach? Okay. Yeah, apparently she knows a thing or two about a haunting. Um, secondary point of interest is ooh, this is the spicy part too. You know that fallen noble Mallow Marigold? She's apparently in on this too. So like, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Isn't that like the mayor's daughter? Yeah, the the ex mayor. Ah, sorry. Sellers and smiles and looks into the distance. Now that is some spicy reporting, if I could think of one. Especially if they're wrong and spreading rumors that the university's haunted. So, I I would I would love it if you could monitor those two in particular. See if anything is out of the ordinary. Just like, just keep an eye on them. And apparently, they met at a bar like it's three a.m. in the morning. So it might, it might be an all night, all day, all night stakeout. I hope you're prepared for that. Mm. Mm. Um, I will make myself prepared. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh boy, what am I gonna have to pack with me? Uh, Anti ghost things. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, and has you a list with Martha's name on it, and as well as Mallow's, and just here you go, hon. Just in case you you need to refer to it later. Thank you so basic, much. Basic info on the stuff gives you a pat on the head. Immediately goes back to her clipboard and writing things down. <laughs> Guileford hands you a lunchbox. <laughs> that is what he is sending you with today. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, I guess I can't go to my usual spot if I'm supposed to be a stu- Oh. It's like being a kid again! Okay! (laughs) Um. He smiles at you. (laughs) Is there anything I should look out for in particular? Any- Anything that stood out as strange about this whole thing? Were there any details that this bar keeps said? Oh, boy, yeah, actually. He rubs his chin. There's some sort of monster that prowls the halls at night. Ooh, so maybe if you can't hook up with them, you could even try to find whatever they're talking about. Oh, oh and that's... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, pro- I, we could maybe. <laughs> he gets kind of fidgety at that. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't have to come to that. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, monster? Is monster? It it's, yeah, like some big ghosty thing that prowls the halls at night. Salazin, uh-huh. if you send her to, your death, to her death, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to come back and haunt you. I'm going to hunt the crap out of you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's okay if I can... If I can bring this paper to the level of prestige and glory it deserves to be, I could deal with a haunting or two. It's fine. He's sweating a lot. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> now, what is my angle? Do I go at this first, or do I go and ask other people if they've heard about it? Is it a, is it a large conspiracy? Is it close-knit? Ooh. <laughs> so, many, so many options. You... Busy day. Busy day, Bijou. <laughs> uh, Guileford leans over as these two glare at each other over here. If it comes to it, please don't put the paper before yourself like Salazin does. <laughs> no, I would never! <laughs> 
at the end of the day, the grapevine exists as a place for all of us to share our ideas and each other's company. Do not get hurt on our behalf. <laughs> you, know, you know, I would do anything for you, but if I'm not here to enjoy you, then what's the point? <laughs> Sal is in behind you. Here, here! <laughs> <laughs> the phone rings again. Oh, oh my, uh, no, no, no! Oh God, they're c- stupid. Tide's Edge is calling back. They want to. They want to talk about us spreading dirt again. I swear, this is every other day with these guys. You just, you. If you could bring me anything, I would appreciate it because I want to have to stop publishing stories that. That makes me stu- keep talking to the man with the scary goatee. <laughs> he throws over the door and goes back inside. Goatees are scary sometimes! <laughs> I wish I could grow a goatee. He <laughs> just puts a hand on his shoulder and nods as of seeing him off into battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, is this? Oh. Cupcake. Peeks around the corner, tries not to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Just smiles. Bijou, you are worth getting up in the morning for. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's the sweetest shit in the world! What the yeah. hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this my little desk here? That is your little desk there, okay. yes. <laughs> okay, she's going to she's going to twirl out to her little desk and see if there's anything here that she would normally bring with her that is a necessity for investigation. Ooh, yes, of course, your big disposable camera. <gasps> it's it's I love my big disposable camera. <laughs> it's gigantic. So, for some reason, disposable cameras have a like a habit of sort of going haywire on you. So, <laughs> You tend to buy them from the pawn shop down the down the road. You just get whatever you can take because you run through them pretty quick. You used to have a bigger one. It was a nice present from everybody in the office, but it went haywire and started taking very scary pictures. It's currently <laughs> locked in a trunk under your desk. <laughs> she frowns, looking down at it. Someday, old girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. Hey, oh wait, hmm. I suppose I don't really look like a student. Hmm. <laughs> I could just say I'm one of those new avant-garde students from all the way up in Snowdrop or something. It'll be fine. I think you pull off the look fantastically. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, quick, if you could get my uh, Michelle for me again. <laughs> he he smiles at you. This man's so fucking warm. Like everything about him, he just radiates pleasantness. He he I like melt. He I drapes melt. the shawl around you, nods <gasps> and goes, Good luck. <laughs> tap, Break tap, a leg, Helen. Don't get <laughs> killed. Don't <have> to kill <laughs> Thousand. Um, before I go, does anybody need anything? <laughs> no, you just take care of you. Really <laughs> They're all fucking great. <laughs> God, I love I adore my friends who I just met. James kept them a secret from me for months. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Bijou, you you walk outside, leaving that warm, glittery place, and step oh, back out. I was out trying into the to city. remember the image I had in my head of her as she steps out the door and some SpongeBob when he's got like the really high pants and the rose. <laughs> 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 You 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 exit the building and walk back out onto Hall Street, only to see someone you're actually pretty familiar with. Um, as you uh as you exit, um, just this 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 positive fucking brick shit house of a man, mm. uh, standing at the top of the stairs. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. you, he waves. Yo, Shutterbug, how's it going? He walks <laughs> over, <laughs> picks up a huge armful of newspapers. I got a, I got another run to do. Gonna get these to the boys, get them to spread them out. Uh, 
You take that job? Oh, oh, I was just informed. I'm excited, Gallop. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, really? What about? Like, it well, sounded kind of weird to me, like ghosts or something. Well, how much do you know? Because I'm not exactly sure how much I can tell you, you know, talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks at you puffed up. Okay, fine then. You keep your secrets. I wouldn't want to <laughs> compromise your mission. <laughs> okay, if I, if I get the okay from your brother, I'll tell you, all right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just telling you right now. I'm guessing that. I'm not sure right though. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Big I'm brain, dying. Sam. Same one wavelength. Of, one of them is the night unicorn, the other is the day unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 picks up um he actually like gets tired of picking up the papers, throws them all back in the box and just shoulders the entire box. Uh takes a step <laughs> takes a step down. You, uh, watch yourself, you hear? Oh, I ghosts, always do. Yeah, ghosts aside, university's weird right now. So, yeah. like, you get you an know, any amount... Yeah, he stops. I just, you get in any amount of trouble. Give me a call, okay? I'll punch down any wall for you. He puts, he puts up a fist. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope no walls get in my way. Oh, they won't if I'm involved. <laughs> he cracks his knuckles one-handed somehow. <laughs> she thinks to herself, how does he do that? How, how does he do that with one hand? Well, good luck, Shutterbug. I'm going to be in town. You need anything? Just give me a yell. He waves and starts to walk away. Okie dokie. Have a good day. Hmm. Okay. Northward bound. <laughs> and? You begin to head towards the university. Same Twirl. as everyone else. Twirl. Twirl. <laughs> I just want to say, every time Glab opens his mouth, my urge to marry him at the end of the series <laughs> grows. I'm just like, I'm getting ill, I'm um. eloping. <laughs> so, we get to put a new token on the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes! <laughs> As all of these different figures converge on the university. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move you guys in, but there is still one story remaining. <laughs> and that is the story that is always on time. In fact, most of the time, extremely early. Let's uh, teach your prob teaching Cassius. You're probably like there. These two are down here. I like and... also. I love this map because I can tell exactly like this is where I live. Yeah, and this is the potato <laughs> detective de apartment. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, oh, and here, here, here's where the box fort is. Yep. <laughs> no, nope, you guys. Uh, the end game. And oh, here's Teach's house. Here's Teach's yeah. house, which means that to get to the university, we go like this. Yeah. And then we go like this, and then we go like this. Yep. I'm getting a real good sense of space right now. And then <laughs> and over excellent. here, and this is this is this is I think this is where. This is where the diner is, but I'm not sure. Yep. This right, this right, here, right under Bijou is where the diner is. Okay. He is standing confidently on top of Fralia's diner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna continue on, but yeah, and then we'll take a short break after this scene. Right. Siv, it is a pleasure to to officially announce you as player five. It's, Thank you for having me. We have been holding back for so long, just quietly watching, just like oh, I can know. finally talk to people. Yeah, <laughs> I can talk I, to I, people. Sip sent me her icon like months ago, and then I was like, "Oh, she's cute." I don't know, Jack. I should have bought her, but she's cute. And then everybody's like, "I bet Sip's gonna be like this," and I would just turn and look at that icon and go. Oh. I don't know. I don't I know what the hell she's going to be like. I love her so much. She's yeah. so good. Oh my god. <laughs> so. Bretta. You spent the previous night with Mallow just 
up in your apartment. She was flabbergasted at the size of the space that you live in. This, this unbelievable towering penthouse. And you realize this is the first time you've ever had her over. In fact, it's kind of rare for you to have people over to begin with. Like, there's definitely the socializing aspect. Like, you've had people visit on business, but you've never... It's, it's been a long time since you've had a friend friend over. Because Bullets flying are kind of a turnoff. I, I, got, used, I got used to them eventually. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she smiles. And, like, walking in front of you, you get a familiar feeling in your chest. What it's like to have a peer that you just have that isn't like a status thing <laughs> like, <laughs> and like you, uh, you start I feel like i'm not using you <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you start to you start to feel just like a little warmer as she walks well i'm a little hungry but at the same time i guess we could grab food at the cafeteria whatever you'd like to do it's fine with me i'm not particularly hungry oh um thank you so much last night for like i don't know talking me through some of the shit I'm going through because uh it's it's been a while since I had a chance to you know unload no I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually quite glad to help usually on those nights when I'm not sleeping I'm usually staring up at the ceiling and thinking about all of my problems so it was actually a pleasant experience worrying about yours <laughs> um she smiles at that um I think I am going to enable you to roll something in this exact moment. I, mm -hmm. since you did something nice for Mallow, you, Mallow has a unique mechanic that whenever you do something to ease her burdens, you, you hear her out or you help her grow as a person, she gets a chance to roll against her flaw that is she is just deathly exhausted all the time. <laughs> um, now... Wait, hold on, did you just say that I did something nice for Mallow? You did. Can I check my schedule? <laughs> yes! You can. Hold on. Allow me to share the schedule really quick. Oh. Yeah. As you can see, one of the things on the schedule is do something nice for Mal. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you've done something nice for Mallow. <laughs> That was Where easy. Want <laughs> a date with Harp, and I just picture the opening scene of Old Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and now, oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, Brennan, your your mic's a little blown out. Just back away a little oh, sorry. bit. Yeah, all no, right. there you go. Uh, so, Christian, would you yes. mind explaining the mallow sleep tech that you guys have devised? Let me explain. So. <laughs> Uh, last session zero or the uh, session zero three at the end of Beretta's, we got a little gift for uh, forming a semi investigation group, and as a part of that, we could put any memory we wanted into that and share it. Meanwhile, Cassius got a memory that allows Cassius to re-roll or basically once per session in a non-combat situation max a die roll to get all sixes. And combining that tech, since Mallow is a part of the investigation team, can now max sixes out and automatically get sleep. So we, we <laughs> put that in there so that Mallow would sleep. Automatically succeed and get maximum hours of sleep. So <laughs> time to knock this girl out. <laughs> <laughs> so, get her ass. So it is time. I am going to roll to die, which is 3d6, just to see what you would have gotten. Had you not done this? Oh, hey, not bad. Not bad to begin with. However, you managed to maximum. Hold on, let me do some math. She's missing a number. That wouldn't have been enough. So, uh. <laughs> because remember, she rolled all ones, and yeah, yeah no. Yeah. So, God bless you using that maximized ability, because <laughs> even with a one and two sixes, that ain't enough. Um, uh. your tech in this, uh, and then she's gonna equip a color. She's gonna do this one. You know what this color is. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, honey. So, Mallow temporarily suspends her gift that she is overworked, very tired, etc., and gains proper access and control to not only her character, but her class, which I will then share with you at the end of the session. So, Great. congratulations. She also heals one wound. Great. Yes. So, yes. you, there is, there is the strat, Mallow's back, Mallow's back up. Um, 
<laughs> she 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 wanders ahead and like does genuinely look pleased. Beretta uh, notices this and she just kind of looks at her and is like, you know what? Let's get you some breakfast, hon. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she beams at that as you as you walk up to the university. But as you get there, you notice you notice something's a little different. Uh can you move Beretta again? She's glitching for me. Thank you. Uh this this ain't quite the same as before. Like something's uh something's definitely changed. Um there's a different vibe to the university. Mm. Mm. Do you feel that? Yeah, something's off. You look ahead, and Song's standing with the clipboard, actually, checking people in. Okay, you you two are good to go. Get on in there. And they 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 walk past, and he he like looks at the next group of students. Okay, next. Okay, I got this. She starts to run forward. The uh, the the woman behind her nods and like uh, assumes the position in the line too. Oh, what do you think is happening here, Beretta? Hmm. Hopefully, nothing with swords. <laughs> <laughs> Mallow gets in line. Um. <clears throat> okay. What did you say your name was again? Uh She looks back at this woman for confirmation. She offers her. Another stoic nod. My name is Dan? Uh-huh. The Wizard Man. Uh-huh. You are a mage? No, I'm an enthusiast. Okay. He starts flipping through the pages. Well, that is actually on my list. You're... Well? <laughs> he looks back down. You're good to go, Dan. Sweet, I'm in! She runs past... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seems like you're really having trouble turning people away at this point. <laughs> he shakes his head. Yeah, sorry to do this. Um, apparently there was someone running around last night causing a stir, so we want to make sure nobody strange is coming onto the premises. He like focuses in on quote Dan again. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. What's your name? My name is. She focuses in intensely. Uh huh. Normalson. Normalson. Cool. He flips through his pages again. <laughs> Sounds fake, but yeah, you're. On the same page, Dan. What is happening? <laughs> she. Beretta is almost relieved that she's not the only massive liar on campus. <laughs> This this woman nods and passes like as as smoothly as a ghost. Dr. Warren, yes, this is going perfectly so far. The two begin to walk away. Oh, okay. This is this is weird. Um, hey, Professor Song. Oh, hey, you two. Uh, do you like? You're not gonna give me a crazy nickname, are you? <laughs> It depends. Is that what we need to do to get in? Apparently. <laughs> he looks back down at the sheep. Look, I'm tired. They put me at the main entrance. Nobody comes from the... Alcott's probably having a great time and, like, motions with his head to the back entrance. Uh, Just, I... It's almost business... seems like punishment for not taking up a homeroom. <laughs> he looks at you dead in the face. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Professor Song. I'll speak with the student council about this and we'll see what we can do about getting better security so that you can focus on what you're good at. Does that make sense? He he smiles at you. You know, that makes that makes great sense. Thank you. Uh, uh, just for the sake of protocol, Beretta Pietro, Mala Marigold. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> okay, cool. Meanwhile, in the line behind... <laughs> An owl finally makes his way to school. <laughs> okay. Uh, the oh. the 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 figure behind you is floating pebbles next to you to spell things, and then sees people and stops. <laughs> <laughs> Just cling to you. She she blends, <laughs> and she 
for a split second, pops back up again, floats some pebbles that say, good luck, and then <laughs> <laughs> disappears into your shadow. Thanks. <laughs> Solith is looking around at all the trees and the building. He's never it's... seen anything so big before. Yeah, the university's absolutely towering, and you're so damn caught up in looking around that you almost miss the presence of someone behind you. Almost bumps into you. Oh, oh, sorry. Hmm? Oh, did you do something? Oh, I just, I nearly walked into you. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. He squiggles into line. <laughs> You, uh, you walk up to this actual, like, this This guy's got an intense vibe to him. Uh, he looks at you. Hey, uh, you're a new face. Hi, hello. Yeah, uh, I just got here. Oh, uh, cool. You're new in town. Um, wow, uh, that, that makes things easy. Uh, looks back over at the two incredibly suspicious people up here. <laughs> <laughs> Those two say they've been here for the last few years, but I've never seen them before. <laughs> Scratches his chin. Oh, whatever. Uh, if you're new, that makes things simple. Um, what uh, what's your name? And like, can I point you in the direction of a department or something? Uh, Stella of Ariel, and uh, I was wondering if you could. Oh shit! You're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh. It's okay. Your your his your archaeology, which is currently managed by the by the history department. <laughs> you see songs scheming something in his brain <laughs> right now. <laughs> wow! His entire what? attitude shifts from a disinterested chaperone <laughs> to the most experienced like car salesman you've ever seen <laughs> boy do i have a teacher for you <laughs> if you're looking for a homeroom which weird coincidence there's one that's happening today that's oh, by uh, against all odds is currently unoccupied it there's a slot for you with the head of the history department. <laughs> what a what a really? wacky coincidence. <laughs> uh, Sol thinks back to the number of coincidences that have happened to him recently. <laughs> and they're in the nature of said coincidences. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh Okay, cool. <laughs> he like he smiles. Yeah, she's uh she's really great. Uh she's she's super cool. Um you'll get along with her great. Uh she also needs more people for her homeroom and she kind of needs that job to stay in her apartment and like I'm kind of worried about her and song just starts going off for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> His song kind of goes off. Beretta steps in. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but did you mention the head of the history department? Yeah, of course. Um Actually, what? we were heading just there now. Um, you are new, and not in the same way that those randoms are new. You're really new. Uh, I, I guess? You smell like you you're from out of town. <laughs> you don't notice the girl behind him, because she is exceptionally short, and it also seems like she is trying not to be seen. <laughs> uh. Solif, uh, Solif takes a step back to, like, steady himself and uh, nearly trips over her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be careful. She reaches out to help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, also new, but not smelling like out of town. Interesting. <laughs> can, can you smell? Can you, like, smell people's lo locational history? <laughs> I've lived here my entire life. You get a sense for these things. I'm Beretta yeah. Pietro, by the way, student council president. It's a pleasure to meet you, and I'm at your service. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. He holds out his hand and kind of uh, tries to take a sniff of his, <laughs> his shoulder. <laughs> Your hey, clothes not smell offensive. different, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not offensive. It's actually quite pleasant. 
<laughs> I'm a big fan of the flower in your hair. <laughs> a, what? He, <laughs> he reaches up to his head and touches it, and then his face goes bright red when he takes it out. Look at your eyes, it is lovely. <laughs> he, uh, he has to stop herself from laughing after every time she speaks. <laughs> <laughs> uh teach. Oh, yeah. You and Cassius approach this gaggle and Song actually makes eye contact with you. Oh, mm. Martha, perfect timing. Mm. Run mm. slides on down the mm. line. The kids she, are gathering. Like- the, the kids are gathering. They're making me nervous. Oh, okay. Oh. She she finishes her second, third, fourth sandwich and uh she kind of <clears throat> Hey everyone! Uh, she kind of like steps on <laughs> forward and, and like just kind of assumes high energy. Hey, uh, what what's what's the holdup? Uh, we're just saying our hellos. By the way, I gotta check you two. And don't I know you? He looks to Cassius for yeah, a second. You're the guy who came looking for all the papers in my apartment. Oh yeah, good to see you again. You were real helpful the other day. Oh, of course. Nice to see you again. Smiles I'm- at you. I'm, uh, Teach's new TA. That's yep. what it's called, right? Yes! Mid-sip okay. of coffee he fucking spit takes, like, <laughs> between everyone. <laughs> Teach, you got a TA? What? Yes, I did. Uh, she... I thought you said you'd pressed... never get a TA. What is this shit? Well, he's I like, never he's, thought he's I'd get a homeroom song, and so there's a lot of stuff on my plate now, so I need a good guy uh, like this to help me out. That's great! He's like... A, you notice Cassius, his attitude shifted from towards you from um from like a oh yeah you were helpful once to like like he would be clapping you on the back if his hands weren't full. He is so happy you're helping teach. <laughs> <laughs> He's nothing but smiles. Hmm. You know, okay, that's awesome. So nice, nice to meet you. Mr. T.A., what's your name? Da, don't worry about it. Go on in, go on in. <laughs> don't <laughs> know okay. And that's why we're going to have to elevate security. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I still need to Wait, get what's you. What's going on? Yeah, let's, uh, hold on. I, I need one more name. Uh, he looks He looks down at this, this diminutive woman in front of him. <laughs> uh, I was not told that there would be names taken. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Oh, um, hmm. you might be one of the people on this list that, uh, you know what? I'm almost out of coffee. It's whatever. <laughs> like, he shrugs. Are you new? Um, uh, y- yes, I-, I am also here for uh, history. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Uh, he's just smile. like, kind of like, yeah, Teach moves presence like it's really close. <laughs> I am Martha Teach, the history professor. She puts out a hand for you, and I think we are going to get along great. Wait, also here for history? She she goes through like a whole entire like roulette wheel of emotions as all yeah. of this is being spoken yeah. to her. Because at the first time she says history, she kind of looks down sheepishly and is about to speak, and then you walk up to her and she just looks confused. It's like <laughs> <laughs> I specifically uh I am here for uh dance history and Excuse me, but you do not she... look like quite the dancer I am used to. Oh, oh, you're mistaken with that one. Uh, <laughs> teach tips her glasses. I am actually a professional dancer. Tips her glasses. <laughs> I am actually a faker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Holy shit! I am a professional. De- no, no, uh, out of my brain. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, she's delete. like delete. Yeah, she's like. History otherwise, that's still in my courses. I'm the dean, Martha Teach. Um, the dean. And the dean of history. Cassius, when you say the dean, looks fucking confused as hell. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, yeah. come on over here for a second. Uh, she also uh, turns, I would like, she turns around and faces self exactly. Hello, what's your name? You also look new. Uh, hello, I'm Selif. Might I ask? Yours? Are you the homeroom teacher? You said you were the dean? Yes, Martha Teach. I'm the dean of history, and I'm also a homeroom teacher. I, I would love to have you in my homeroom, but... Martha Teach, aren't you the one working on the census project? 
she beams. Martha Teach? Yes, Wait, I I've read some of your papers. You have? She just kind of leans over and beams at him. And then she's like, <laughs> really? Uh, oh, she, she, she stands for a second and she's like, you, mm, she doesn't really know how to, thank you. Goodness. I, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a yeah. bit of a fan. Oh my God. I'm, oh, 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 really? are you inviting yeah. me to your homeroom? <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Up. That's right. I am. I'm very curious for any students who are interested in history. And if that's you, then you're welcome. That is absolutely, absolutely me, and I would be honored to be in your homeroom. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she goes and raises a hand forward. Then welcome to my homeroom. But I need your name. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say it was like Salif or something? Y- yeah, Salif Ariel. That's my name. Salif Ariel? A pleasure to meet you. She shakes your hand. That's... Mm, that's great. I'm excited. <laughs> I have two new history students. That's my day's just brightened up a whole bunch. I'm so, uh, so excited <laughs> now. I can't wait to start classes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, if you're new here, you should you should uh, go sign up right now. Uh, Beretta, could you help these two sign in real quick? I'm, I'll be right there. I want to. I want to ask. Cassius uh, was uh, making his way to greet Beretta. You point Beretta out. Him? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Castius, you also need to get some papers if you want to go with Breda too. I would okay. love to get everybody set up. Yeah. I'd actually consider yeah. it my duty. Uh, we, will, we will have to hurry up if I am to get there early to be early, but <laughs> I'm gonna go put I my think back we can down. make a good time. She turns back to Selif and then, all right, if you head on, Miss Breda over here is a very excellent student and she'll get you all hooked up and we'll be able to talk soon. Looking forward to seeing you in my homeroom and you too, miss. Uh, and she's like, I was, I've been back and forth. Can I get your name too? Uh, you may call me Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany? Okay. She shakes your hand. <laughs> she shakes it back. It is tiny. <laughs> yeah. teach and big she shakes yeah okay excellent good if you want to go too then you can get classes signed up if you haven't already uh, yes i suppose i should i need to get acquainted mm. with the uh university ground this place is so large absolutely uh she kind of steps back for one moment and uh just kind of like i'll catch you on the homeroom she kind of goes over to song and uh yeah that's as a uh, as people start heading forward, she kind oh, of yeah, please, as every, everybody who needs papers, please follow me. <laughs> yeah, as, as they start going like, forward, <laughs> you're gonna have to actually show me how to get to the classroom, though. <laughs> I, I believe as, that's where we're all going, so it shouldn't be a problem. As they everyone looks away from Bijou, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Her shoulders are shaking as she turns the song. Song! She was excited! She was excited! <laughs> read my paper song! <laughs> read my paper song! I, got, I gotta say, that's a first. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know how widely published that magazine was. It, it, he's excited! He's excited to be in my homeroom song! Alright, it was an academic journal. He yeah, stops what? and thinks for a second. What? Even... Even fewer people read those. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like standing there like. <clears throat> she just like shakes up. <clears throat> I'm proud of you. Now, now you, you. get, you get you. in there. I'm sure you've got a speech prepared already. You knock him dead with it. Absolutely. I'll buy, she, you, uh, I'll buy you a celebratory dinner. You want to go to the rib place? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, tell me about the this later she kind of like gestures and like pulls a little at the uh sign-in sheet but, oh yeah uh, no there was somebody running around the school last night causing all sorts of hell or something uh, <laughs> people 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 heard running and like loud mm. sounds out in the hallways mm. so i'm supposed to mm. sign everybody in headmaster's order uh i don't i don't got classes till much later so shrugs yeah okay i i got a lot to talk about later but I'm sorry for making you run around last night, too. She uh, pats you on the shoulder. Eh. Uh, all right. You would have done the Let same go for knock- me. Absolutely. She kind of turns around. All right. Going to go knock him dead. Good luck. Thank Rooting you. for you. Thank <laughs> you. She starts heading forward. Uh and you you overhear him uh, behind you. Just, like, talk to the next student in line. 
Okay, and what the hell is your name? And don't say anything ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Yell. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit okay so if i'm reading the current progress i'm i'm gonna say as you guys walk into the university we'll put us to our very first break and i want to know what you guys are doing uh over the course of it uh for the first set of people who need to take take a hot sec i'd say uh like like three people bounce i will sit here and hold down the fort talk to you guys talk to chat etc yep i'm good I I'm can't even get up. out of this closet. I'm so I'll, sorry, I'll, Brennan. I'll bounce oh, so. the water real Don't. quick. Go I'm rest up. Well. I, uh, have, I have little weebs to get me water when I need it. <laughs> uh, real quick, just for folks who are still here. Hot tip from your good pal, the J-Man. If you are going to yell, point yourself away from your mic, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, did I do that? I'm sorry. Um, no, everybody did it. <laughs> and then yeah, I'm probably. <laughs> um... <laughs> Our asses. Oh boy. Yeah, so this is this is the very beginning of the very first session. I hope everybody's having a good time. Uh the pieces have been mashed together. Um I thank you all for facilitating the mash. And from here on out, this is your game. Um obviously that beginning bit was scripted to get you all in the same place, roughly around the same time. Everything else, up to you guys. I don't know what the fuck happens next. Surprise me. I mean, <laughs> I was so need to now. I need to, like, actually fill out the paperwork to become a TA, right? Yeah, we'll probably skip over the, the paperwork aspect. Um, and No like, paperwork just, simulator. There's no paperwork simulator. I think I might just cut you guys to your homeroom unless you want to, like, talk to the students in the hallway or do anything like that. So, like, yeah. Does Juju just, like, pretend to get lost at some point or something? How does she, like, not get wrapped up in the filling out the paperwork that doesn't exist? Yeah, actually, um, <laughs> at one point, she, uh, does squiggle away, but, uh, Jay, she, yeah. uh, she's gonna, she's gonna use one of her abilities, because she, oh. she is not squiggling away the whole time. Oh! Since I don't have a bond up with anybody, oh, yeah. they won't notice if I'm there. Oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yep. You can you can freely come or go as you please without atta attracting attention. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> I, <laughs> have, yeah, I have that, that ability. <laughs> and you know, she was told specifically to talk to Teach, right? Yeah. Yep. And Teach just openly introduced herself. So I guess that worked out yep. really well for her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to the story. Oh, and the really? <laughs> Luigi's great. Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> I've been waiting to see what she was like for a while. I'm uh, here to blow up and act like I don't know no, no, nobody. nobody. <laughs> Hi, chat. I know. How are you enjoying the show so far? How you doing, chat? How you doing, chat? We've had over 300 viewers consistently. Good. Me and Amy are dropping. I'm Go out. To everyone. Okay. Welcome back, Amy, and goodbye, Siv. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a really, really good time. I'm having um, a blast. Yeah, I I love your crew. You're all yeah. so weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good gang. I'm okay. going to grab some food real quick, BRB. Excellent. Um, I'm going to bounce really quick, too. Uh, talk to chat, everybody. I will talk to chat. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. <laughs> I am not You're looking at chat, but I'm going to act like I am. Now. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can see the chat. I was, Hi, I was really curious the first time I would get to use that uh, that new teach icon thing, and then and then Selif was just like, "Oh, I'm your biggest fan. I really am excited. <laughs> hey, I'm a huge like, nerd like you." <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, "Oh boy." <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Teach. Don't don't freak out yet. Caleb's like, wow, you you're so cool. And I'm like, okay, time to cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caleb yeah, opens yeah. his mouth and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna die now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and uh real quick for folks in chat, just as a reminder, uh we have a new uh Discord that you can join. That's uh the official Stabbiness Discord. And it got links to a loads of shit that we're uh, affiliated with. Um, and also, uh, if you want to be able to see in the, like, we'll probably make this live tomorrow. If you want to see Bijo's, uh, World Anvil page, uh, that'll probably be made, uh, public tomorrow. 
So, uh, and you can see all of her gifts and stuff if you subscribe. To, sorry, not subscribe. Donate to the Patreon at the nine dollar tier, which is the uh, Windrose Everlasting Patreon. Nice. Do it. It's great. I I think there was like one dollar till four hundred. That's probably already been gone now. But yeah, I am back. Uh, I was, I was well, discussing fun. about uh about the fact that I love Celeth a lot, and I was really I'm glad back. I got, I didn't know if I would get to use new teach like like gushing icon, and then you said I'm your biggest fan. I love I, mean, I love you, and she's just like. <gasps> <laughs> I like to think that during that screaming. scene, Beach is standing there, confused as all hell, and then it's like yeah. obviously, and then Cassius is immediately next to her, confused as all hell because yeah. they are both yeah. just trying to sneak in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's there, like, am I getting pranked? Is there, are these? Did my boss yeah. hire actors? What the fuck, history? <laughs> dance history <laughs> that was so good <laughs> great yeah um, I, I got to i have to give context for that uh dancing is the one of the three still skills that i picked as a starter professional professional skill <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you can't wait to see you show your dancing no, you've no. Stum- yeah you've stumbled into hell with that one. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Uh, Come at me. Let's fight. <laughs> let me drop your characters for you. Yeah. It's been I... great when Cassie says to be the TA to teach his fucking dance history lesson. <laughs> yeah, Cassie's yeah. sitting here like, <laughs> what the fuck? Cassie, go grab me some dance shoes. We're gonna. <laughs> oh my god. I loved every little bit of this. I, um, so full disclosure, the song that I had picked out for the intro, Roll 20, just broke. So I, all, all of the intro was literally improv from start nice. to finish and it hitting musical beats was not intentional. Oh. It happened, but I'm like, oh That's yeah, this is, this is going good. But that was me panicking. In. You're tapping into the music. Hell yeah, it. Jay. Blessed yeah. campaign. Yeah, yeah blessed, blessed campaign. campaign. Blessed day. <sighs> well, I mean, oh, I want to see oh. the full body. If you want to send it to me, I can actually do it as a handout for the stream, too. Ooh, okay. Um, or, uh, Mass, could you handle that? I am dropping NPCs. Alucard, no! Have, absolutely. Do I have Thank background God. noise? What was that? Do I have background noise? Nope. Okay, cool. It's getting really hot in here, so I turned my fan on. <laughs> Let me... Uh, who the heck is in your class? Oh, yeah. Those ones. Let me grab you from the uni exterior. May I ask you a question? Yes. Let me see. Typey typey question. Oh, a secret question, I see. Yeah, so I want to know how you guys are going about this. Um, (laughs) I need to know how you guys are going about this, like... Are you just, are you going to sign some papers, get everybody all registered, and then go to class, pretty much? I mean, I think that if if the homeroom isn't immediately scheduled, um, Ca- Cassius will be like, hey, I might go, like, wander around and try and see, like, the layout of the school. But if it's like, oh, you know, okay. we sign the papers and Britta's like, we got to get to class or we're going to be late, Cassius will just follow what Britta says. She is very worried about being late for being like 15 minutes early. So, yeah. Cassie, <laughs> if she goes, we're going to be late, Cassie will just go. Like, he's not going to wander around. We're not but she does early. need yeah. to do that. You, you will actually do the same thing. Like, if they go straight to homeroom, she's not going to like squiggle off. She's going to fall. Okay. She's going to wait till they're off, like, they're out of class to squiggle away. I, okay. I want to point out that Solov still has all of his luggage with him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, of course. Yes, oh. Drop it off somewhere. <laughs> yes, this might be like, hey, hey yeah, buddy, are you in the dorms? dorms? Do you have a place to drop that off? Do you need if, some yeah, help if, your stuff? If that's the case, she uh Beretta would show him to the dorms and then wait for him and then go to class. Does he is he st- did, did he, does his like like scholarship come with dorm? So that's actually know. That's actually a pretty big question, and that mm-hmm. probably won't happen until you're registered, which would then require you to go to class to be 15 minutes early. So that, Salif, you are taking your 
luggage to class today. <laughs> Alex will be like, hey, buddy, do you, do you want some help carrying that? He will help you carry that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Okay, so... With that, you make your way to homeroom. And Brennan, I, I believe you wanted Harp to be there first? Mm -hmm. or Yes, okay, can do. So. Do I, by the way, just a side note, have yeah. I, like, seen Harp around before? Is he, like, one of those There's... little bastards that I would know? Or no? Yeah, you would. You've seen him a few times. You're pretty sure he was a punk. That's, that's guess about he's it. gonna walk in the room, see him, and be like, yeah. oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, I think then... Uh, Teach will come in a little bit later just to give everyone okay. time to kind of like move in a bit. She'll okay. wait patiently for 50 turns to exact her uh, <laughs> exactly right. waiting outside as we walk past. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is um, Teach's class. Uh, please make yourself at home. I was the only member of this class up until yesterday. So. Uh, Yo, a lot of people here today, Harp Waves. I suppose I... Uh, before <laughs> anything gets started. Uh, she gets up to the front of the room. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. I am Beretta Pietro. I am the student council president, and I am at your service. Um, unfortunately, I was absent for the past week. I caught a bit of the flu, so I haven't been able to set up the schedule that I would like, but I am looking forward to getting to know all of you new people. And Thank I'm sorry for being late. She wasn't late. <laughs> and then she's going to wander over here. <laughs> Oh, big place. Excuse me. Uh, Beretta, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And she goes right to her. <laughs> feather, uh, you move feather. fast, Feather. And she's like, oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, hmm. Yeah. Um, she pulls out a book from her bag. Uh huh. And she slams it on the desk. <laughs> 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 his he falls out of his relaxed position what <laughs> hold on what um i believe we have met which is why i've actually prepared this schedule for you specifically so please take a look at it whenever you get a chance welcome to class hmm. <laughs> he takes a look at the book what is it if he opens the book he'll see a note oh okay should i share the note you can share the note okay oh. he pops open the book <laughs> he gets, his brow furrows is like what the fuck <laughs> and how did that be oh my god Dude, and if he actually beat me up <laughs> and if he actually takes that uh note out of the book he will realize that the book has actually been carved out and there is a loaded gun in it <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks at the loaded gun like what the fuck Okay. Hey, <laughs> you're challenging him to a duel. Yeah. Did I see that from here? Yes, absolutely. Can I take a picture of that? Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a picture of a harp with book with gun. <laughs> I I'm gonna go over to Sue and be like, "Is there anywhere in particular you want me to leave your stuff, or do you want me to just leave it right here on this bench next to you?" <laughs> oh yes. Okay. That's just a character to me. <laughs> Cassie starts sweating as there's more of a pause. <laughs> uh, he comes up front. He's like, um, hello, everybody. I'm the TA for Miss T. <laughs> Is it Miss? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> harp, harp in the back. Hey, nice to meet you. He's like putting away a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as as the clock gets closer and closer to the time, about five minutes early until the class would actually start, uh, a Miss Teach walks in with a stool in between her arms, and uh, she just like yeah, she just kind of takes it down step by step down the stairs, and uh, as she goes, she goes and just kind of sets it up next to her desk. Cassius, got you a seat. Oh, Jesus, I have to sit at the front? Okay. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Not for long. Um, she stops a bit and turns around, and then she sees six students in her homeroom, and she smiles and <laughs> thinks a bit, and then realizes there are a few other names that may be coming, whatever, whatever. But first day, not a big deal. 
she kind of steps forward. Hello, everyone. I'm Martha Teach, head of the history department. I'm also your homeroom teacher. And she steps back and starts sketching something onto the board. It's a number. Um, Teach, can you please move the chair? I don't want to be in the middle. This is weird. <laughs> All right. Go sit over there. She, she says the chair, like, points over there. Um, and then she moves past and writes very big on the board uh, her name and then a number. And steps back up real quick and then looks at everyone. All right. First things first. Everyone, come on up. We've got six people in the room. No need to sit so far away. Come on. Come on. She kind of gestures her hands. Uh, there's even three spots open on the front row. Harp jumps over the desk and lands next to Feather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little closer. A little closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> he hops on the desk. Fe- One more to go. He... He feels Feather's stare on the back of his fucking neck. <laughs> what she said, it's cool. Hops another yeah. layer over, lands next to Selif. The front uh, tee is the optimal learning position. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and then she just kind of like takes a look at Feather. Uh, and one more. I would prefer to be in the back if that's okay. Hmm. She thinks. That should be fine. All right, everyone, we're going to the back. Uh, she just starts <laughs> moving up as ever. Come on, that's up. We're going to the back. Uh, she goes and sits uh-huh. right up on the front desk right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mallow walks around and sits down. <laughs> what a unique Solif. teaching style. <laughs> Solif awkwardly climbs over his luggage. Yeah. <laughs> Bijou was having an easier time with it since she's smaller. <laughs> she's more up. just like, I was just in the back. <laughs> harp harp middle has row, the middle same row. expression and then hops over. Middle row, middle row. And <laughs> as everyone plays musical chairs with Teach, um, she very, very uh kind of like waits for everyone to kind of get a little more position there. And then uh she kind of stops. And then, okay, so first off, homeroom, pretty, pretty easy stuff. All I'm really here to do as a part of the school's guideline is to make sure that, one, you're signed up for your classes, which I, hopefully everyone's already done. If anyone had any trouble, just let me know. Two, uh, my job is to also make sure that you have your books. After all, uh, they do come with your tuition, so long as you don't lose them. So... If you have any trouble with that, let me know. I can definitely find some for you. And the final part, um, she kind of looks back, is to give any announcements. And I have not been given too much today besides, obviously, there's the front door, the front gate. We do sign-ins now because there is some mysterious person walking around campus last night. Um, And she kind of turns. And she stops again and turns around. And uh, Harp uh, notices that in her left hand, she's holding something tossing it up and down in her hand. It's a piece of chalk. And very swiftly, she grabs it, holds it between her fingers, tosses it back, and it hits the the, the board over here, causing a <laughs> thud against it. Everyone write that down right now. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Harp quickly take, uh, pulls out a book, looks at it. Uh, 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 teach, quick question. Yes? You said something about books. What do we do if our book had a gun in it? She stopped. She brought a glare. I would, I, would, I would report that. That sounds bad. Um, she oh. moves over and then grabs a bunch of little like notebooks <laughs> off the walls and then kind of hops up and then slowly hands them out, each with a pen, um, like sweeping around and then goes hands and everyone's a new book. In Number that hypothetical in the name. situation, I would take care of that for you. So please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> and after giving everyone a minute standing in silence to write down the names, he's like, okay, step two. I am, let me, let me try this again. I'm Martha. I'm your friend, human counselor, and I'm your guide to university today. We've got some new faces, so everyone stand up. We're going outside. <laughs> you just start walking up the stairs. Cassius is like so confused. <laughs> and you two was like was about to write something down, but literally didn't know what she was telling them to write. So she was just like, "Oh, she uh, she made a very pointed thing to point at the board with the large number on it and her name." Oh, basically, 
you, you piece together that's probably a phone number of some kind. Ah. Uh, but she just starts moving, and and Jay, yeah. uh, I have a I have a question. What oh, is yeah. the highest point of the university that is accessible by people? What's the best by view? The best view? God, um, you could probably get up on the roof if you tried hard enough. Mmm. Is that like legal? N- At legal. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> uh, no laws and indigo, with, baby. With, with <laughs> teacher Were you a cop? Is that okay? <laughs> what was that? With teacher supervision, is that okay? Yeah. All right then, we're going. we're going on uh, the roof. Okay, uh, you, everyone, as you, as she goes outside <laughs> to put you all on the roof, uh, you notice, uh, like, Feather actually hesitating. Apparently, it was, she, she was kind of uncomfortable that you sat down next to her, um, and Bijou, you, you might, you might pick up on something. Would you mind giving, uh, giving me a roll to die really quick? Okay. Fantastic. Mm. And choose which color you want to lock in. I think you might know. Ooh. Why didn't it go? It, it usually takes a second. You might need to click your character and then click keep and then button. Uh. There you go. Okay. Wait. So yeah, you, uh, you lock in your yellow and yeah, you, as you sat down to feather, you did notice like her, her body language shifted. She's, she's very large. Um, and it's hard for her to sort of, like, obscure any sort of nervous tics. And when, uh, Teach writes her number on the board, and you notice she's taking a very long time to write every single letter, and Harp just eventually re-hops over the desk. She looks angry at him for a second. Don't worry, I got you. Slaps something down on the, uh, table, and she smiles. Thank you. And then he hops back over again, and she pockets it and puts it away. Hmm. Hmm. Did she, she not read she she took her time writing, mm. like like a long time writing, and mm. Harp Harp vaults over all the desks right behind you, Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Harp is eating this up. Oh, he, he loves this. Absolutely eating this up. Excuse me, <laughs> Professor. Does this classroom lock? My things are in here. Yeah. Oh. Mm. My door yet? Cassius, can I give you my first assignment as a teacher's assistant? Can you help with Salif's luggage? You want me to carry it onto the roof? Mm. Uh, yeah i can do that i, I guess Excellent. I thought, thank you <laughs> i thought i will make you pay for it though is he a teaching Absolutely. assistant or a slave oh, no, 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 no you don't have to do that i can, I can all right i can carry it it's okay times of the essence let's go Cassis comes down here and starts picking up all salem stuff and putting it <laughs> into his coat. me <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> okay. I have it. I I walked all the way here with it. No problem. No, 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 no. Cassius has already put most of it into his coat. It's okay. I would rather me fall because I'm like a TA. You're like a student. Okay, but like a TA, you are a TA. There's some delicate things in there. Please be careful with them. Oh yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I totally got this, I swear. You are. As B, she's buzzing back at you. <laughs> she leans into Feather like a little bit on her way up and says, Your friend seems very nice. <laughs> He's exuberant. <laughs> uh, she, she smiles at you. <laughs> you all make your way outside. And <laughs> prepare to climb the fucking school. <laughs> you goddamn psychopaths. Before I love we get this. Onto the actual roof, I'm going to put Sailor's stuff. Like, if there's like a door that like you have to go out of to get to the roof access or whatever, yeah. in the room, like right there at the top of the stairs or wherever I can, I'm going to not take it out onto the roof with me. So that yeah. I don't have the risk of dropping his valuable possessions off mm-hmm. the roof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you, you make it outside <laughs> the university exterior, and you you start to think about the 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 best way to uh, <laughs> to get on top of this building. Uh, because teach this is this is a new and novel idea for you. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, but you had such a vivid image in mind. There's got to be a way on the roof, after all. And Harp mm-hmm. looks back at you. So how are we getting up there? Like, one of the fire escapes? Oh, uh, I could kick the yeah. ladder down if you guys want. That would be wonderful, Harp. Thumbs up. I'm liking this homeroom already. He smiles at Beretta, <laughs> too, on the way up. Uh, you, you see you see Harp just fucking disappear. And, I follow uh, him. I follow oh, him. Okay, if you are following Harp, everyone else waits, but you see him fucking scale the side of the building like a goddamn gecko. And, like, <laughs> you can see he's actually extremely used to this. And, like, he's eventually- just like, oh, He's a student. I should be careful, right? He's trying his best at this TA thing. So when he comes over, <laughs> sees that shit, and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Bijou sees it from off in the corner and sees the shadow looming above. Is that the monster? <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that. She doesn't say it. He, he kicks a ladder down jumps down to this point and then kicks a second ladder down off the greenhouse roof. Okay, you gotta be a little careful with this one. <laughs> Brota like smirks like, and then she climbs. Uh, teach grabs that one and just kind of holds it on tight for everyone to head on up. I wait at the bottom. Hang on, we gotta, we gotta hold on from Burn. Ooh, Burn, you yeah. good now? Oh, he's good now. We're good. Okay. We're, okay. Go on. Teach eventually cycles everyone up through the uh, the stairs all the way up to the roof, holding on tight and just kind of getting everyone up. And then once yeah. everyone has actually, like, got their way up there, uh, she then climbs up herself. Come on, Cassius, let's go. <laughs> we're gonna say she takes the ladder all right you know. no yeah. all right Get down. First, lesson. first lesson survival <laughs> you, you, are, off the roof. you actually oh. oh sorry uh no, I, I was gonna say Beretta, make sure mallow doesn't fall <laughs> Cassius was waiting at the bottom to make sure nobody fell as well. Uh, Harp makes that exact joke as you climb up teach he's like yeah I thought you were gonna pull the ladder down and say now survive on the roof <laughs> Ah, uh, no, no. That's not what this is about. Uh, yeah, I'm not teaching any survival courses. Mm-hmm. She uh, she steps forward then, and then kind of heads over to this edge of the building, and as you go, like, adjusting a bit of brightness and stuff, she kind of stands there and uh, uh, kind of waits for everyone else to kind of head on over in this direction, too. And as you get there, when when in the morning, coming on in, there was a kind of strange feeling, some sort of oppressiveness about the university, some kind of uncertainty. Yet standing up here in this, like, I don't know, two, three stories high roof, you get a good look. Looking off through the horizon, you notice trees laid on trees, a large landscape that's very not too viewable normally unless you're in, like, seaside but instead, you get this fantastic view of the entirety of the surroundings of the university. And it, well, it's, it's pretty. It's very pretty. It's very nice. And even when looking from this angle, some of that stuffiness and kind of feeling disappears as Teach turns around. Classrooms can feel kind of stuffy sometimes. But don't forget that this is the university and this is a place of freedom of intellectual thought and learning. So, throughout your time here, never forget that you are completely free to explore yourself and anything that you do. I am here to help you with that as a teacher of the university, a dean, and as I hope, a friend. She uh, kind of makes an over-exaggerated bow and then stands up again. So, while we take a nice look over this wonderful scenery, I would like to ask little questions about all of you, if that is okay. And I'm sorry if I'm a little overbearing. (laughs) But... Uh, she stops, uh, again, and then turns. Let's start. She kind of turns over with Beretta over here, a shining example of our school. She smiles. (laughs) (laughs) 
Come on. Well, what what do you need to know? <laughs> she kind of sucks like, oh, come on, we know your name, but we need to know more about you. Why don't you talk and tell all the students and everyone, everyone in here about what you do? Oh, you're, that's right. You that. weren't here when I did that. <laughs> no, oh, she stopped. Oh, you already did that? Ah, darn. I guess in that case, you've all met Retta. But I would like to hear myself since I haven't had you as a student too many times before. Of At course. least not in a case like this. Yeah, I, I tend to not take history classes, but I am very happy to be in your homeroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Beretta Pietro. Um, I am the student council president. And um, I am happy to help if anybody has any questions. Ah, uh, yeah, she, uh... She She's just waits. smiling. <laughs> and what major are you studying right now, Beretta? Well, actually, I'm a bit of a, a triple major. I've actually already gotten my master's in economics, and mm-hmm. I have also begin, began my mastery in business and Rauji philosophy. So Ooh. I keep pretty busy. Ooh, she, <laughs> she stops a bit and thinks... Goodness, you're more impressive than I am. She stopped. But if you're oh, looking for a that. nice book, I would uh I would suggest Vale's study of economics. It's uh it's uh it's writing's a bit stuffy, but no one's ever really succeeded as being as comprehensive to them. It's challenging but worth the work. And if you're looking for Rauji philosophy, I'd say Hanukkah scrolls would be a good choice to start there. They're oh. not neither of those are required reading, but they're both very enlightening. And then well, she I'm turns very over. happy to do more than what's required of me. <laughs> she turns over. And I believe next, she kind of selleth. What? Me? Yeah, oh. give yourself an introduction. No need to feel shy. We're all friends here up in this grand Ruth today. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, he's sort of floundering for what to say. Uh, you realize that as you were talking and as Beretta was talking, he's been taking jot notes. Um, like the entire time, if you care to flip back a bit through his journal, he's been mm-hmm. jotting for a while. <laughs> mm-hmm. kind of ever, doing ever the since you almost, yeah. Oh. Ever since you uh, threw the chalk at the board, he's been like writing down everything just in case. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry. If you need to write anything down, you can always task me afterwards. I have no problem. Just take in the scenes for now and let us know a little bit about yourself, Salith. Uh, okay. Um, Salith. Well, I just got here, and I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm very excited to be here. Um, uh, my major, I'm doing a double major in uh, archaeology and history. Teach beams. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, from Nest, the North Nest. <laughs> no one has a look of recognition on their face. No one. <laughs> the North Nest. I haven't heard of that. Um, yeah, that that's okay. Yeah. Uh, has Teach heard anything about cell of special circumstances, or is that just not something nope. she's aware of? All right, yeah, cool. Then I'll just ignore that and be like, well, that's great, Selif. I'm happy to have you in my classes. And if you want to know some history, here's something that's not particularly important reading, but is very important reading, if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> the take Lost Day. Book again. Yes, <laughs> this one right down. The Lost Day by Manfred Stevengross. It's well written. It's pretty fun. It's a good read. And it also gives you a good grasp to maybe a bit about this city and why it is the way it is today. And there's an extra credit assignment for it in my modern and R- R- rosy history class. So if you knock it out now, it's a free grade booster down the line. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. She nods her head and then steps over to the side. And Harp, how about you? Ooh. Me, huh? He's sitting on the roof cross-legged. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks. Well, my name's Harp. And I'm a spy from Falcata. <laughs> he smiles. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and you feel you feel a fucking a glare. And he just he just splays out on the roof. <laughs> oh. Well, got that off my chest. Nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's just kind of like taken aback for one second, and then she like snaps to attention. Well then, uh, Mister Harp, if that is your real name, yeah, it is. Um, okay, yeah, I'm I like, kind of... 
Oh boy, he sits up. You have no idea how long it's been that I've just been hanging out waiting for a proper homeroom. I just report back sometimes, you know? Say what's going on in the city. Ah, Falcata's not officially allowed in, so they gotta rely on people like me. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks, and how much are they paying you for that? Uh, I'm allowed to live here. That's it. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not like a spy spy, but like I report so you're back an sometimes. Informant. You're an informant. Yeah, but say spy. It's so much cooler. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. But hmm, she thinks if you're gonna be a spy, then well, okay. I was I'm gonna change that up and then um you should <laughs> you should go find a book called The Common Agent. Um it's not it's not a history book, it's not a universal book, it's a great novel. I think you'd like it a lot. Oh, that um, sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. Um what an interesting reveal. <laughs> She's like, well, if you want to know something, well, she kind of like thinks, well, if you have any secrets you're hiding from Falcata, don't tell Harp. But if you have anything else, I'm sure our good friend, she goes over and ruffles the side of his, uh, his, his shoulder. I'm sure, I'm sure he's got quite a few things he's wonderful to talk to about. Mm -hmm. He's smiling at all of this. You see a fucking death glare from her. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he smiles the fucking shittiest smile you've ever seen <laughs> uh bijou would you wait no no she doesn't know that bijou would you like no <laughs> no <laughs> tiffany would you hold on one moment i think that uh she points past uh miss uh, uh feather it seems as though you might have a follow-up statement hi my name's feather i don't know this man <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Heather, you're very you're very polite it seems like you get along with people you don't even know then um <laughs> she stops uh, i've been told that before <laughs> she uh and what are you she kind of like dr drifts the conversation over to keep the train rolling what are you doing at the university what foreign relations Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie starts sweating out of like I th interesting class. <laughs> well, uh, she thinks a bit. I'll take that at face value and say uh, she like scratches her chin a bit. Um, hmm. so if you're foreign relations, you've uh, probably already read Archimon's Tome of Relations, correct? She pauses. I've read part of it. Oh, okay. Um, she thinks a bit, and, uh, she's, well, um, hmm, Davis's translation would be something I would recommend. It's a lot less stuffy and weird compared to the first one. Um, it's not the required one. Academia sure likes Olivia's more, but it's one I'd recommend. It's a lot easier to get through. She, and she I nods think along. And I smile to it. Hmm. And, uh. She then turns over, and last but certainly not least, Mallow. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, Mallow yeah. looks over at Bijou. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. say anything. Yeah, she doesn't say anything. <laughs> ah, uh, wait, yeah, sorry. I, uh, you have to understand, my brain works in a one-track mind. If I skip a car, I forget it. I'm, I'm very sorry, <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> No, it is fine. This car is parked. I I would like to hear what uh what is your name? <laughs> no, 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 no. I I super apologize. Here, take a little bit more time. Then you let us know all about yourself, Tiffany. Oh, oh that is so kind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Scream. <laughs> um. Well, you said I, you I am were doing, doing like dance, right? Yes, um, historical dance specifically. I would, um, I would like to know um, about the dance uh, customs of northern and northeastern windrows, but um, anything really. That that is that is my specialty, really. But uh, I was oh, what hoping a, to what a fascinating to focus mm -hmm. and a lovely uh, accent. Well, I can't place it though. <laughs> oh, uh, well, there, Sook. Oh, I see. <laughs> very old, very gold. It is so easy here compared to it. Teach seems to be beaming even harder now. Goodness. Okay, okay. I've got the perfect book for you then. Steps in the Snow, written by me. Uh, she stopped. You have written books? Yes, I have. I've oh, written I didn't a few know you were a writer. Now. Cool. <laughs> mm, well, I'm in history. It's it's all academic stuff, so not many people know about it. But 
if you it's one of the it. histories yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she gets like an even brighter smile and accomplished look to her face yes it's i've only written one uh tome about his uh, about a uh, historical dancing but that's one of them and since you have an incredible interest in that i feel like you might just have a lot of things to talk about with me about dancing tiffany oh that would be wonderful do you have uh does the library here have copies yes it does I have many spare copies. <laughs> she kind of like uh, half frowns for a second. <laughs> uh, and as I so rudely skipped you, I will now turn over and the last student of the bunch, Mallow. Hi. Why you um, have to that is worrying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mallow kind of waves. Hi, I'm um I'm Mallow Marigold. Uh. I've been here for probably about nine, ten years at this point. Um, I've been working on my degree ever since. Um, I'm hoping to graduate this year. Um, I study cosmic physics. <laughs> uh, Teach kind of smiles. Well, the book I would recommend any of my cosmic physics students would be Malio Malo Marigold's Treaties on the Star Signs, but... <laughs> well, I think you're ahead of the curb that one she smiles so wide at you the <laughs> same exact look that you got with the when when Selif was like I read your book she's like oh somebody's read my book <laughs> <laughs> yeah she, she smiles and gives a thumbs up uh, and then finally she turns and my TA Cassius will be assisting <laughs> us for a while until I understand exactly how much workout I have so Cassius why not give us a good run through of yourself? <laughs> Everybody <clears throat> looks at you, Cassius. <laughs> Cassius gives Teach a look like a. I thought. I thought. Okay. Teach nods her head. Yeah, I let you go last so you could figure out your story. Apologies, viewers on YouTube. It seems like I am having a trouble connecting to Discord. Um, we will be back with the rest of them soon. Ah, now we are back. We are waiting in suspense. Cass, oh, okay. oh, we're back. Cass All right, Cassius, restart okay. for us. Um, <laughs> hello, I'm Cassius. Just Cassius. I am a detective. I work for the Potent Deterre Detective Agency. <clears throat> I am helping teach with TA work because I manage a lot of stuff for the detective agency. And she doesn't know exactly what her new workload is going to be like with this homeroom. So I'm here to assist her with that for a while until we come to an understanding about that. It'll be nice. <laughs> Learning, working with everybody. Teach steps, steps forward. Yep, Cassius is a good friend of mine, so he's going to come and give me a hand. Um, she pats him on the shoulder, and uh, then she she tries to also like not shove herself in Feather's face when she does it, um, <laughs> and then just kind of steps back a bit. And then with introductions out of the way, uh, she notices Tiffany like wandering off. Hang on, one more moment. Oh, I am just taking photographs. I am listening. <laughs> oh, a photographer as well. You didn't mention I that. I would like to send mementos back to my family. Oh, that's that's so nice. Would, um, um, it's maybe a bit forward. You can say no if you want. Would I be able to get the uh, class photo? Of course. Uh, she smiles and and puts a thumb up. Does that uh does that uh do an automatic thingy? Can you be in the shot too? Um, I can take the photo if you want. Yeah, that's true. Here, Tiffany, come on, get in with us. Oh, okay. Um. Be very careful. This is, it's quite heavy. Oh, okay. Uh, you just press this button here and uh, give it half a second and it should go. Okay. I'll move the button. It is automatically pressing. 
teach Stan <laughs> strong in the middle. All right, everyone, line up. <laughs> Harp in the back is just looking at you guys. Of Come course, on, the fine. class photo. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. No, I'm doing this now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie's uh, just positioned himself where he yeah, can get Yeah, they noticed they're lining up. All right, she she goes and sa- teach small. Uh, she goes and stands. Uh, I guess she'll like, she'll take a seat right on the back, standing a little on the elevated roof thing there. <laughs> Looks like a captain. Um, <laughs> I I will take the photo of everybody, and I don't know if it's like amazing. You gotta, yeah. Are you gonna? Are you gonna run and get in it? It's on a timer. I'll. Uh, Cassie, no. come on, come no, on, Cassie, come on in, come on, Cassie, set up and come I on in. Set it on this window seal, and then I kind of back <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> Cassius, you managed to sort of awkwardly get yourself in the photo. It's it's especially awkward because you don't really want to be in the photo that much, but because of your proximity to the camera, you are particularly large, Harp is particularly <laughs> small, and for, exact, <laughs> and for exactly one frame, you can see something else. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, after, you- After the flash goes, he swats at her. <laughs> 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 okay, let me uh, just check to see if that came out all right. If it didn't, I can just take it and not be in the photo. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Teach kind of stops looking at the time. Well, we've got about 20 more minutes of a homeroom, but I'm going to be quite honest with you right now. The rest of the regulations are just a bunch of things that are going to be repeated to you at the beginning of every one of your first classes for the rest of the semester. So I'm going to officially call your homeroom here. Let's steal back some of the minutes of our day before next class, okay? And if you have any questions or need to talk to me about anything, that time is much better used to do that. So, yeah. Uh, she kind of, like, steps off and just looks and see if anyone has any questions. Oh, yeah, teach, teach. Uh, Hart puts mm-hmm. up his hand. Uh, just a curiosity. Um, do we have to come, like, every single time you're having homeroom, or could we, like, skip sometimes? Mm, she thinks <laughs> I'm obligated to tell you, and it honestly would be best if you did show up, because there are going to be announcements. And the important part of that is she kind of, like, looks around. There's been a lot of, well, I mean, obviously, they got this this new whole stuff with attendance, so they might, you're going to need to show up. But on the bright <sighs> side, regardless of showing up one way or another, my homerooms are a little short, so do not worry. I'm it's sure you'll have bit. plenty of time to report to your home country. <laughs> yeah 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 checks stop coming if i don't stop informing them of stuff so tell, uh, tell phil kata i'd really like to get in their library someday oh boy you and me both <laughs> uh, yeah she kind of looks uh she stops a bit puts her hands to her side and then just kind of like turns and sees the town again and then kind of stands there a little bit longer like she's just kind of thinking about something and then finally and uh hey she holds up her hand to stop everyone from moving, and her voice seems to lighten slightly. The whole time she was talking, there was a very obvious, like, exaggeration and exuberance to her speaking. She was teach, you know, your bubbly, quirky homeroom teacher. A false, but welcome voice of a teacher that knows she's a bit of a goof and plays it up. When she talks again, though, that facade is gone. The next words are Martha, the persons. Don't be afraid to come to me or each other for help, okay? There's, uh, I'm, I'm serious about this. There's not too much of a safety net in the city, so please use the one the university is providing you if you start to fail. After all, you're paying this dumb tuition, so you might as well get the best from it. I'm a busy lady, but I make time when I can. I won't turn you away if you ask help for anything, okay? As long as it falls in the purviews of a teacher or the purviews of your friend. I may be a bit late, though. So, yeah. She, uh, puts her hands together. That's it. And then, again, if anyone has any concerns at all going into the semester, now's the time to talk to me. You could also do it privately if it's something like that. She uh, that's smiles again to everyone. And that's a lovely that's sentiment, it. Teach. Um, I'm sure many of us would love to take you up on that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. She uh, kind of waves her hand. I'm sorry for keeping you, kids. It's okay. You can you can get that off now. You. The, the class begins to come to an end and everyone sort of makes like some people like take a look at the city. Others make their way towards the ladder. Uh, Sela, if you feel something separate from your shadow again. <laughs> um, and, and like something, something behind you begins to shift 
and manifest just oh, floats floats immediately behind you with the open notebook and just points at it and goes oh they're nice <laughs> like <laughs> dot 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 a shame about this building being so bad dot mm-hmm. dot dot so and wait, wait, wait. she's just writing this while the rest of us are standing immediately next to him so Selif, you remember what she said earlier about people not being able to sense the supernatural unless they're acutely attuned, unless they take time. And this this creature is just separated from your shadow. She's done this a few times, waved her hand around in front of people's faces, and they haven't reacted at all. However, she's doing this cockily and coyly in the middle of a group of people <laughs> who are all <laughs> looking straight at her. <laughs> Verona pulls out a gun. Ellis? <laughs> Cassius, Cassius puts himself between her and, <laughs> and Mallow and Beretta. What? Like, um, you no, just, just standing kind of... there with the book open in his hand, like, uh, Bijou just... <laughs> takes something in her hand and slowly slides it onto the open face of his book. It's the photograph, and Oribus is just right there in it. <laughs> like, steps up very close to this shadowy figure and then looks at, like, kind of gets her floating, so she kind of looks at, I don't know exactly how the, the eye lineup happens when she looks. Excuse yeah. me, I don't think you're in my homeroom. They, they stop. Yeah. And then, like, look behind. Like, wait, who the fuck is she looking at? Looks I'm looking at you. Nudges her, like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, slink back into your shadow. <laughs> what? Yeah. what was? That is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of moves around and goes through shadows. She's just like, what is it? And she just like pokes at it with her foot a little bit. Let's, let's, hmm. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, you're poking at it with your foot? Yeah. I assume we all saw the same thing. <laughs> it fucking reemerges. It's fucking bad. <laughs> gun, is, gun is back out and pointed. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. She stops. In his hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she stops this thing reacting. She like moves back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Uh, Miss, Miss Tiffany, hang on. Hang on a second. Where are you guys all looking? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, we've got a new person to... She kind of looks... She doesn't really... Um, Selif? Yes, Beretta, don't, don't shoot it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Harp looking around the corner. You guys suddenly started acting real squirrely. What's going on? <laughs> oh. Uh, what is... There is... I think... Is that a ghost? <laughs> He just kind of like <laughs> like realizes that Harp said that. She yeah, she's like shit. I gotta. She gotta stands up. Selif, would you please introduce us to your other friend? They seem to know you. <laughs> <laughs> he he's like glaring at her. <laughs> like, <laughs> she she. This is the first time you have seen her not like f- fully r- radiating dark energy. She looks genuinely kind of embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is Oribus. She's a legend. I think they're called. Um, Nos. no, no, don't hide behind me. <laughs> it's your fault. So, so you. This is what you get for being arrogant. Wait, uh, <laughs> a, a so you know this ghost yeah. then. That's that's sort a legend. Of, I, I only thing. met her yesterday. <laughs> you're you're. Telling me that she moves past and goes and, like, peeks behind. She, like, squats down. You are a, are a legend. A legend? <laughs> like a, like a, like a myth or like a... No, no, with a T. Story? <laughs> a legend? Yes. You know, supernatural... Do you want to explain, Orbis? <laughs> You have Re- the floor. Refluffs. <laughs> <laughs> you hold no, seeing, <laughs> seeing that Telef knows this ghost, Beretta is going to put her gun away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are a bunch of pages are turned. Uh, 
supernatural creatures circled a few times and then and they shrug and like fucking loosen themselves up. Familiar is written down. Uh, like like some uh, wizard uh, stuff. She looks kind of upset at that, but slowly and robotically <laughs> nods along. <laughs> really, really dangerous, scary magic wizard stuff. Hmm. Dangerous and scary. Yeah. Uh, she, Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. She's- She's mostly harmless. She just likes mischief, I think. <laughs> mm. uh, Teach stops for a moment. That's an interest. She kind of holds everyone stopping real quick. Okay, hang on. Um, Salith, that's... Uh... Sneak around to go help <laughs> Tiffany yeah. get down, because I don't yeah. want her to fall. Hang on, <laughs> one moment. Before everyone goes... Um, yeah, I'm gonna recommend that you uh, delete that. <laughs> <laughs> I, hmm, Selif, it yes. is a very, very important thing that you do not tell many people about Oribus being your friend. And I would ask <laughs> everyone else present here to please do Selif a kindness and not really just talk about that willy nilly. Oh yeah, talk, you guys talking to the empty space? I'm not going to report that. I'm just going to be confused by it over ah, my corner. Ah, okay, okay. She goes over and she goes over and like pulls out a little sketchbook. Okay, so Harp, let me let me let me let me just kind of like tell you what's going on. This must be really <laughs> strange. Uh, she starts like pulling out and sketching a pen in a notebook and tries to sketch out an approximation of what an Oribus looks like. <laughs> Oribus, meanwhile, manages to write down in Selif's book, no, seriously, though, this building's dangerous. Don't stay here. <laughs> is Tiffany gonna go down? <laughs> she's, like, I'm assuming that somebody is holding her in place or, like, about to yell at her, but she is, like, <laughs> she's, like, plastered up against the wall, like, shaking, Beretta, looking at it. Beretta, like, just got, <laughs> Beretta just got her by the belt. <laughs> she's quivering. Down. If you need help getting down, I can help you get down. I don't want you to fall. Yes, please. Yes, please. Right away. I didn't think, I didn't think there would be a ghost on the first day of school. Let's just get you down. <laughs> <laughs> I crawl Uh-oh. down the ladder and I hold it at the bottom for her. <laughs> and then I crawl down this ladder and I hold it at the bottom for her. So it walks oh, over right. here and sits down. <laughs> She actually does something funny. She, like, grabs his arm and just, like, pats him all over his upper body. And she's like, okay, real person. Real yes. person. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I think that um, maybe, mayhaps, Salif is some kind of wizard, it seems. And that is, from what they wrote in the book, some kind of crazy wizard familiar. It's some magic shit. So just, it's okay. It's just some weird magic stuff. That is a ghost. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, upstairs, Selif is like everyone has like split off into different groups and Selif is now sitting functionally alone and Oribus is looking around Mm. like, Oh shit, this is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> teach, teach, uh, teach finishes up. And so inky, blobby, blobby, magic, familiar, only appears to some people. I think you drew either the lucky or unlucky stick here. Uh... And it looks like this. She, she has this like almost crayon tear drawing that she scribbled out real quick. Well, cool. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure how to process this information that goes surreal yep. and all that other stuff, but that's I would, fine. I would, I would process it. Absolutely. Um, hmm. She thinks a bit. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go now. Take advantage of that early lunch. Feather, you coming? Yeah. I'm curious about the ghost. Let's not pry about the ghost. That's, See you at that's the gazebo. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. If you want to <laughs> stay, you can. She she shrugs and looks back down. That's all right. I'm sure I'll have plenty of chances to ask in the future. Absolutely. Uh, she kind of yells down to her students. You all have a great day. I'll see you later. And do then... you need Do you need me to 
find the guidance counselor. I think those are a thing, so that you can talk to them about the ghost. <laughs> I do believe it is just like some magic stuff. I don't know if it's actually a ghost. I don't know if a guidance counselor could help me with this. I'm so yeah. sorry. Teach is peeking at these two mysterious students to see if they're trying to eavesdrop into a little homeroom meeting. Didn't we roll to die? Alrighty, alrighty, let's do that. Alright, that's ten. Mouse waves at you. <laughs> Martha waved back. Hi there. <laughs> the other one does not move. That's the that's all you get from them. Mm -hmm. She steps back. <sighs> now, Sel, if you're sure that you just came to just came to town today, correct? Hmm. Yes, Stella. yes, that's correct. She she kind of moves over and like sits down like to the side a bit and just kind of like okay. So, um, you want to talk about the your friend a bit? I mean, you don't have to too. We're not not trying to force you into talking about him, but no, it's it's okay. It, it's just it just kind of happened by circumstance. I you need to understand. I just. They invited me to the university, and I thought, oh, yeah, this is great. I can follow my dream, finally. It'll be great. And everyone in the town was super excited. They'll say, you'll do great. It'll be great. And they made all the mistakes for me, and they sent me off. They paid for my train ticket, so I just went on the train, and I got a costume <laughs> my bunnies, and uh -oh. then... There was grave robbing, and I, <laughs> I met an occultist, and he had a ghost, and she showed up. Loretta's taking notes. <laughs> oh. And she yes. said, oh, you're the scariest thing i ever seen. And I'm like, what? I just want to go to school. I <laughs> so, so then this is a new ghost? <laughs> it's, you say that like this happens to me often. She shrinks to the size of an apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good to know. You should do that more often. There, There's a pause, and then your journal flicks through page after page after page, back to the page that has Trouble Magnet written in bold there, and very <laughs> shakily and embarrassedly, the phrase, uh, two letters are added. I'm <laughs> space a <laughs> uh, underlines and fucking just shame. <laughs> Beretta kind of just smiles and says, "Well, it looks like you've had a strange night as well." Yeah, I think this she kind of like particularly likes... hostile. No, that's true. And um, Sal, if you're far from a scary person, you're you're just you're just a sweetheart. So don't worry about it. And I'm. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about some stuff too. Um, you know, talk sounds good. I, <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> if you'd like, we're actually going to go out for lunch now. I think it'd be a great spot to maybe chat about some stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, Let's I'm see around sorry the for the outburst. <laughs> no, no, don't be, don't be. You've had a stressful couple of well weeks, days for a while now, so it's okay. Um, she kind of looks, your friend gave us a bit of a spook, but that's not your fault. Not even, not even her fault. It's just because, well, there's some spooky stuff going on. And so I think it's good if you're already dealing with it to maybe let you in on that. Since after all, uh, she notices Orba's kind of reinflating. Uh, looks like you might already be tied to that in some ways. Uh, the... The notebook floats again for a split second. Actually, this time suspended in the air, and uh, it flicks back to the uh, it flicks back to the page earlier about well, it's a shame about the building, etc. And then flicks a few more. Do you know how much danger you're in? Question mark. Uh, she notices that that's being a uh, question that's put to Selif, but now is put to us. Teaches yeah. like, well. It's impossible to say how much danger we're in, but I very potentially almost died last night. So I'm pretty sure I did almost too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she yeah, kind of I over. as well. So, <laughs> so it's between yeah. the three of you. Like, what? 
<laughs> uh, she kind of looks, this is, well, now it's our turn to be a little mysterious and creepy. So uh, bear with us, please. The pa- um, the sure book, wish I had a ghost. The book, the book quickly fl- flicks back to the trouble magnet page, scratches out I may and writes in a we're all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's, um, let's get out of the roof. I think, I think too many people are listening. I intended to just be a homeroom meeting, not at this meeting. She's been talking a little quieter ever since the ghost thing happened. And she Mm -hmm. noticed people around and she's just like, uh, this is all a question. Okay. Let's go find some answers. She like stands up and smiles and, uh, starts walking down. (laughs) Beretta takes an extra second and just looks at what she thinks is a ghost <laughs> looks and... back at you with fucking dead fish eyes <laughs> interesting i'm glad i didn't shoot you <laughs> come on mallow i'll Mello's, help you down mallow's still looking at her hmm. shakes her head and walks off uh the second the second glad i didn't shoot you uh goes off you notice Oribus like making talky hand gestures like oh glad i didn't shoot you <laughs> <laughs> back here uh, <laughs> cassius you guys come down and it's just cassius with tiffany quote marks it's okay um do you want me to like what well, take you to the class what uh, he is trying his best to Who's the ATA. Are, is it okay? Do you have some trouble with ghosts? I, uh, Understandable. I am very much not a fan of things like that. Things that I... Oh, oh, no. No, I do not like them. I, mm. I, yes, I would like to go back to the class. <laughs> okay, absolutely. If you want to go back to the class, that's very fine. You could, you could, your, the university is your campus now. There's no real reason unless you left something there. Um... um we are, yeah. Cassius gives you like a look, teach, and he's like, you know, at night, maybe don't don't hang out at night. Oh, yeah. Um, Tiffany, <laughs> you gotta stop. Uh, obviously, ghosts are spooky and and all that. Uh, but I mean, that she points over and then it's gone. <laughs> Our friends tell us, look, that's not a spooky ghost. That's just a ghost adjacent thing. Okay. So it's not not a super bad thing, but if you are afraid of ghosts, please stick away from the university at night because obviously ghosts come out at night. That's just um, common sense. Teach, if I could have your ear for a moment. I'll have yes. <laughs> she took a picture of the ghost. She points she a put, bit. She put that back on Salo's thing though, right? <laughs> oh, I got a bag. Uh, <laughs> she, she she blinks a bit. Right. Okay, that's, hmm, yes, yes, she did. What do you think we should do about it? I shouldn't be so overbearing, but I would recommend that you are. <clears throat> she puffs up her chest, and if you need to, sorry about that, uh, but Miss Tiffany, I would like to invite you out to go grab some food with us away from the spooky university for a little while, if you're interested. That's not what I meant. <laughs> uh, so I, I would like to mention that since this morning, Beretta has become has been increasingly more mortified by the amount of people that Teach keeps bringing into this circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I actually have been pretty hungry. Mellow, oh. Mellow chimes in. Cassius comes over and opens his coat and oh, pulls out you. a bag of little sandwiches. <laughs> He's like, would you like a sandwich box? (laughs) So it's to note that Bijou has been looking strangely at Mallow and Beretta the whole morning. (laughs) Um, Uh, I extend the sandwich to Mallow. Mallow takes it and like, oh, thanks. She starts eating. Uh, So... I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a choice because Brennan, your okay. your your specification for the note said that you should meet Harp in the gazebo after class. I can easily delay that retroactively and say it's after your lunch meeting if you would prefer because yeah, it that seems would be like fine. things are headed in that direction. Yeah. It we'll miss. just do after lunch. <laughs> after when class would have ended. Mm, exactly. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. <laughs> Let's start eating it. Thank you. I made it myself. He uh, says, 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shiny. Uh, well, let's all let's all have a second little meeting, and maybe we could talk about all this weird stuff. Yes, yeah. let's mosey, shall we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I. Do you or want two? me to grab your stuff from the other room? <laughs> That would be appreciated, yes. Okay, I'll cast one back. Tisha flips open her cell phone and considers something real quick and then pulls Breda to the side now real quick. Um, Breda, did you get my number before? Mm-hmm. Last night. Okay. Ah, okay, yeah. She uh, she pulls it forward a bit and then kind of shows the group chat. Should we get everyone else there first, too? Or should we just go in with what we've gotten? I think it would be a good idea to get everybody in and try and figure this out so that we maybe can close this circle a little bit more. I understand. I understand. I certainly did not expect a ghost to pop up. A Well, you have to always expect ghosts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's so bright outside today. She just kind of like rubs the side of her head. Ah. <laughs> You'll have All to right. forgive me if I'm uh, being a... Uh, bit anxious about this but uh Mm -hmm. up until last night my circle was one and it's rapidly growing so i'd prefer if we slowed things down a bit and watch out for that mouse (laughs) (laughs) yeah she kind of looks and then she's like your circle was one but you're hmm she kind of thinks of it the class president the 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 social paradigm of the (laughs) university's group was one that seems a little weird oh well She'll think about that one. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> she nods her head and is like, all right, gang, let's go. Uh, she looks um, at the, those two over there. Yeah. I think uh, that I am actually going to go and find my dorm and just lie down for a bit. Uh, I will mm. join you later if uh, mm. I see you again. Mm. If, she if, nods her head a little. If, if you need any help. And he's like, writes down some stuff on a piece of paper. Here's some directions to a doctor if you need to talk about what happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, thank you. Um... Mm-hmm. Look, this is this is all a little extra. Uh, pff, oh, yes, quite it fair. is very much so. It's very mm-hmm. overwhelming. This is why I need to go and lie down. <laughs> yeah, nice. I come so, over here and start very loudly conversing with Mallow. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you need anything. Well, you've got my number, and, you know, I'll say for the purpose of all of this, weird, crazy ghost stuff does transfer the stuff I'm willing to talk to you about. <laughs> you can I'm just you're saying, if you need, I'm, just, uh, I'm just saying, if you, if you need someone to talk to about this crazy stuff, I've got ears open, okay? Speaking of ears open. <laughs> <laughs> that was some good so by the open. way, Mallow, did you hear? Here's here's how I made all of those sandwiches. <laughs> he says very loudly. <laughs> I, will, I will be off now. Alrighty. Okay, everyone, so, let's go. She goes up here, walks in this door, activates her ability, comes back out. No one can see her. <laughs> yup. <laughs> That's fucking wild. <laughs> um, actually, there was something I want to do. I wanted to do it in, when Orbis popped up, oh, but yeah. um, I, I was waiting. I did want to activate my red string of fate because oh. that's fucking weird, and I want to know what's happening with that. There. <laughs> Uh, with Orbis, yeah, uh, or just with target- like the group that was on the roof in general. Oh boy, that's that's a pretty. You're gonna get a lot of shit with that. Um, oh boy. Okay. So you, like, I'd say, you might get overwhelmed, kind of thing. Yeah, I'd say pick a target. Otherwise, you're gonna get so much information that it's just bunk. I will pick Salif. Okay. He seems like he would have the fewest, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like if I pick Orbis, it's gonna go bad. For me. <laughs> and I do the roll to die for that? Uh, yes. Do a roll to die. You take one damage, which is nice. not bad. Yeah, you only take mm-hmm. one. And you start to feel out what ties Salif has to the city. And he's got sort of like 
one uh, a string dances from him to you, and then it connects weirdly to the train <laughs> platform. That's kind of strange. Um, it's pretty weak though. Uh, and then there's sort to of me. A... <laughs> yeah, like that's it's like there are so few ties between him and the city. Uh, it dances to you for a second, and you realize, oh, just by talking to him this afternoon. Probably one of his strongest ties in this city is to me. Oh, he is new, new. Oh, <laughs> boy. Wow. A, Cassius is like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> there's a weak one going to the train platform and a weak one kind of going to in the direction of the church, but that's it. Okay. Hey. Selif? I walk over. Uh, yeah. You notice Zolf has been standing away from everyone else. He's afraid of spooking anyone. <laughs> so you you should come to lunch with us. Um, you're like new to town, right? Uh, yeah, I just arrived today. Today, okay. Yeah, you should uh, pat him on the back. You should come with us. I, are you sure that's okay? I mean, they seem pretty freaked out. I, I mean, fair. But... I don't think anyone in the immediate group of people that are going to eat lunch are the ones that were freaked out. Oh, okay. That would be nice, <laughs> then. Only if you don't mind. No. I, in fact, I might insist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. I pull him over here. <laughs> you, <laughs> you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so, where are we going for lunch? The important question. There are so many restaurants in Indigo. What food are you guys feeling? I've I... been hankering for the biggest, messiest burger in town. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetarian, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like a smart choice. Hmm. I'd say that sounds good. No, I like that. You feel a presence shift yeah. behind you again. Yeah. <laughs> These two are being very unsubtle about their watching you. <laughs> Excuse me. Aren't you two supposed to be in a homeroom right now? Uh, yeah. Uh, we just finished. I aced homeroom. I got a 10. <laughs> 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 Uh, the mouse looks proud. <laughs> hmm. Yes, straight tens across the board. Tens for everyone. <laughs> A lot of spies around lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> this one looks at Beretta. What was that you said about the biggest, juiciest burger in town? You get the feeling this one was spying on you for the wrong reason. Nakti, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, the, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where we're going. If you'd like to try it, I know exactly the place. I currently You're have just two... just inviting the spies? I currently have <laughs> two homerooms remaining in my day. Yeah, three of them. <laughs> Th- two, three whole homerooms. But I will take a note of this for later. You have my gratitude. Well, here's the place whenever you'd like to go. And if you'd like some company, here's my number. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, uh... <laughs> she, she relaxes <laughs> takes your number and quietly nods oh yeah and if you know anything about maybe some ghosts like you were talking about earlier we'd love to hear about them now it is you who is being unsubtle <laughs> oh we were just talking about a movie that we saw last night everybody let's oh, go a movie. yeah that's great <sighs> Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> if you need directions to the movie theater, I will direct <laughs> them to the movie theater. Oh, how exceptionally kind of all of you. <laughs> uh, they, these two, these two start to walk away. And yeah, no, you feel the presence decrease behind you. You sort of navigated that situation perfectly fine. Now, the biggest, juiciest burger, of course, everyone knows, is from a certain burger joint 
named Netherworld. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, boy. No, that's where Arch eats. We don't want to go there. <laughs> so this will likely be the final scene. So uh, prepare, prepare thyselves. Um, okay. And you can basically, I'm going to give you a little bit of time to think out how exactly you're going to talk out your plan, what you're going to do before the next session. We are just going to RP out buying burgers and what happens on the way to do just that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you. You head back to Hull Street. It's a little bit of a walk, but um, you decide to meet up. Are you going to call Dodge and Arch? Arch yes. is literally across the street, so yes. I will go get her by hand. She would be devastated if you went if to this place without that. her also. Mm-hmm. So let me drop you on a loading screen and get ready to move you. I love this fucking group. <laughs> you guys are fantastic. Um, <laughs> you. You go into the city and you walk together. It's it's actually quite the distance, but um, you're doing it for the biggest, juiciest burgers in town. And hell, that's that's enough to make the trip. <laughs> um, but as you go over, you you slowly open the door and you start to you start to hear actually just a little bit of conversation on your way in. Let me let me grab your characters because you went to a certain location. Um, uh, you get to see a thing. You get a little <laughs> vignette. Um, let me grab uh, your your fucking pogs. Actually, uh, mask. If you could copy paste them over to this current map, that would be fantastic. Um, okay, give me a sec. So you go, you go into, uh, you go into Netherworld, which is this sort of like, it's a little sleazy. You can get pizza, you can get burgers here. Um, Arch adores this place, but there were people actually already, uh, already here eating beforehand. (gasps) Is that? Um, (laughs) these two, uh, these two are exchanging Exchanging hushed words over burgers. And so, that's why I said, keep away from Cassius. And what do you do? You walk right up to him. Yeah. I am baffled at this. (laughs) The man rubs his temples. He looks exhausted. You were told expressly that you were allowed free reign over Shrine Street to Antiquity Lane, if you kept your nose out of everybody else's business. Yep, sure did promise that. He takes another <laughs> bite of the burger. Boy. And then what do you do? You walk right up to him? Actually, he walked up to me. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> or no, it was more like a, like a flying roll off of a roof. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, it was cool as hell. You should have seen it. <laughs> he goes back to eating. Right. Why? Why what? Why would you risk your status and the status of your peers to talk to one person? Oh, seems worth it. (laughs) Go have smiles. What do you mean, (laughs) worth it? Yeah, I mean, like, seems like a pretty good guy. And honestly, that's enough for me. That is enough for you. You don't realize what is on the line here oh i actually know exactly what's on the line here uh i think it's you who's actually confused here morph what yeah like sure it's more of a risk to walk out and talk to cassius but at the same time like he's good people it's not about just doing whatever brings the least amount of danger you know you try to protect and save anyone, you sort of forget about something important. He points with a fucking st- ketchup-stained finger at Morph. It's important to remember who you're saving and make sure you're helping out people who deserve to be helped out. And, uh, I got a read on the guy. He's that. I hope you realize how big of a mistake you're making. Yep, worth it. <laughs> he takes another <laughs> bite of the burger. He stands mm. up. And... Don't tell him about this conversation. Uh, hmm. Stops and thinks. Don't think I can do that either. What? 
Yeah, no. I feel bad lying to the guy. People are trying to keep secrets from him. Not, I'm not going to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Morph, Morph puts the down. I will do my best to protect our districts on my end. But the Tempest and the Tide both are overbearing. Yeah, I'm glad that's why you got to deal with them and not me, bud. <laughs> He seethes as he wakes his way towards the <laughs> door, and a gigantic party of people walks in. <laughs> uh, I just walk into the uh, room. Ah, uh, excuse me. He walks past. Can I <laughs> see that Bijou actually scooted in like half a minute before the rest Ooh. of them, slid up behind this wall, and just looked right at Galab and went, shh, shh. <laughs> he winks at you. <laughs> uh, this this man sees all of you, bows once, and then exits. I walk in and I see Glav and I wave politely, <laughs> hey, not just, knowing what just happened. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Beretta uh, immediately surveys the room and then walks up to Teach and says, "Oh, Teach, what a lovely pair of glasses! I don't think I've ever commented on them." Oh, thank you so much. She she right. pulls them off and comments on them, like like holds them real quick. Do you mind? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. She hands them for you to inspect. What's your prescription? Oh, I get a uh, testudo. Oh, I see. She puts them <laughs> on and then she keeps walking. <laughs> I, hang hang on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she stops a bit and like um um. Hmm. And then when she sits down, she gives them back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She kind of like goes forward a bit. Okay, okay. She takes them and puts them back on. She doesn't seem to have like trouble seeing like stuff without them, but you imagine she just has like trouble with like reading menus without them. <laughs> she kind of like, uh, like, All right. She kind of grabs at a menu and, and just kind of looks at it a bit. Extra large. Extra large cheese, extra large... What else? What else are we getting? You've got um, to go just... up in order. <laughs> okay, so a small, and a medium, and a large, and an extra large, <laughs> and then... <laughs> oh, Arch, Arch whispers in your ear, you have to go to the counter and order yourself. <laughs> right. Uh, she, she squeezes past and goes and puts in a big order of stuff after. Well, she's going to go around and uh, talk to everyone and uh, try to get people's general okay. stuff. Catch Meanwhile, yeah, these two over here. God, he just comes over, wave, like, politely. And he comes over, he's like, hello. Hey, how's it going? Uh, good. I just, you gave me all of those juice boxes, and there was a lot more than I thought there would be. So I figure, and he's going to pull one of the sandwiches out of the bag again, like, that this can start to repay the debt that I now owe you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Red, thanks. You're the best. He, he, like, pats you on the shoulder and starts to eat the sandwich. Oh, I wasn't hungry before. But now I, like, I don't know. Something about standing up to people really works up an appetite. <laughs> he starts to eat his way through it. You notice there are, like, fucking three or four hamburger wrappers. This dude eats like a lot oh yeah that actually hold on yeah that that bugged me i'm gonna talk about that now he uh <laughs> he, he finishes he clears his throat oh yeah so uh did you know people are saying that, that like we should avoid you shouldn't talk to you what yeah why would they say that i don't know saying all these weird things recently and i'm not sure <laughs> how to feel about it <laughs> yeah kind of frustrating um so to clarify my position a hundred percent uh i got a i got a group of guys who kind of like well we live in this street shrine street haunted district like we that's our that's our territory and few oh man he scratches his head god it must have been like a year ago or something maybe even longer than that people said you find someone named cassius you don't talk to him just let him do his business move on with your life i heard from one of my buddies but he works with he works with tempest he works with pied he says at all costs avoid cassius what and he points he points the sandwich at you i didn't do that though <laughs> why 
What? What like, do you mean, why? <laughs> like, well, I guess, why are they telling people to avoid me? And also, why did you not avoid me? Huh? Probably because, hmm, he stops and thinks. Well, first part's a wash, but the second part is, first time I saw you, you were helping out not only my boys from trouble, you're also stopping a fight before it ever started. And, you know what? That's worth a bit of respect for me in this city. It's not everybody who'd roll up to a group of actual armed people and just try to stop things with a bag full of apples. I found myself asking, who the hell is this guy? Why does he think this is okay? But also, at the same time, points the sandwich again, sort of found myself rooting for you. <laughs> Aw, thank you. <laughs> he, he smiles. So, I decided then and there I'd hop in. Honestly, I was gonna sort of see where they were taking my boys just to find out what the plan was, but I decided to follow the path of a kind of guy that would stop a situation with a bag of apples like that. So, for whatever it's worth, Pats his, uh, Pats his chest. Other people might be saying avoid Cassius at all costs, but that's not what I'm telling my boys. And that's not what I'm telling myself. You get into you get into any trouble, you yell. He looks back at uh, he looks back at Tiffany back here. <laughs> I got your back. Aw, thank you. Cassius has just felt several emotions, and he does <laughs> not really understand what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listening intently and waiting patiently and kind of steps forward and sits down on this stool right here and kind of just like swivel slides over and I will tell anyone I meet that Cassius is a wonderful sir and would absolutely be someone you should talk to. Oh boy, uh, that sounds like you'd be making Yeah, that sounds like you might be making more trouble for the guy though. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm really? Stretches his neck. Why are you me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hang on, what kind of people are is, are saying Cassius shouldn't be hung out with? I don't know. <laughs> Galav shrugs. But Morph has my best interests in mind. I can count on that. So, probably means somebody like motions with his thumb up. I mean, I met huh? Cerisa the other day, but that was just the other day. <laughs> Not like a year ago. Mm -mm. I mean, a year ago, <laughs> I had like, just woken up. <laughs> Oh, whoa, weird. <laughs> That's uh, cool, though. Uh, uh, Cassius. Yeah? What do you want to eat? <laughs> That's what oh. I was coming over here for, and I, you know, overheard some interesting stuff. Uh, gosh, what is... Arch, what do you normally get me from this place? Oh, of course. She slowly rises. You're probably looking for... She stops and thinks, yes, the Falcotton special. <laughs> that. The, the owner of this place has traveled all over. He makes a delightful burger. <laughs> <laughs> I hand Glav another sandwich. <laughs> oh, thanks. He starts eating it, too. Uh, I, was just about, I was just about to head out, deliver some more papers. Keep, take it easy, Red. Thank you. Good luck. Beretta I'm sorry holding I... a menu in front of her face. Sorry if I cause you any kind of trouble. If I ever do, feel free to call for help. Don't worry. I did worry. give you my number, right? <laughs> yep. He starts to walk away. Don't worry. Used to taking care of troublesome people. <laughs> he says walking <laughs> right past <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> I can't move my pogs, so I had to reload. So she's just there like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... Look. That's that that guy right there is a keeper. Don't know him, but he's, he's great. He's I met him yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's already vouching for you. That's incredible. Yeah, That's I great. met him yesterday. Uh, several of the Tempest people were harassing some punks, so I oh. dumped a bunch of apples on them, and then wow. I was like, "I'm sorry," that. and then they were like. You know, they, the, the, oh. the two boys left, and then they started getting on my case, and then my friend, the Archbishop, was like, back off, and they backed <laughs> off. Your friend, the Archbishop, isn't that Frelia? Well, my friend. Yeah, it's Frelia. I met her yesterday. She's neat. <laughs> you, she, uh, she stops a bit and kind of looks. Cassius, you make friends very quickly, and I can well, understand why. She, I, 
<laughs> Frick is a strong word. I probably shouldn't have said it like that, actually, now that you say it out loud. Hang on, like hang that. on. kind of goes up. Cassius, she kind of puts her hand on the thing as he sits down. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, you are my friend. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh no, no, he might cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. He wouldn't, he wouldn't cry in public like this. Would he? <gasps> roll to die? <laughs> yeah, roll, give me a roll to die really quick. Roll to cry. Roll to cry. <laughs> roll to cry. Uh, Strong will. <laughs> oh. my, my, my blue, which would be the stat that determines that, is high there. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you cry, um, but you yeah. feel you I feel want it's rolling. <laughs> Take in the back. I've got a Ooh. I've got to run through a few of these that I've been saving up because I've been mid scene, but uh let's let's do this one first. Ooh. That just makes sense. <laughs> ah, yay. Uh Arch smiles at you, Teach. <laughs> Let me grab another one. And feel free to continue playing the scene while I while I grab course, stuff. Yeah. Teach, uh, teach smiles at you, um, and then kind of looks around the assembled group of people, and she looks around at generally emptiness of the building. Well, we kind of got struck lucky here. Uh, not too many people. Uh, she she goes over and like, hey, we got an order over here or anything? You uh, yeah. yeah let me drop this one. You sense you sense the closeness of your bond. I'm also <laughs> gonna do a sell and teach one, but yeah. Yes. This is important. This is this is my cue. Uh, as you walk up to the counter and you're like, "Hey, we got an order ready," uh, 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 a voice begins to echo from be from behind. Just this this tittering laugh that bounces away amidst the darkness. <laughs> oh, awfully brave of you to come up and order this much food. <laughs> you feel you feel sudden dread. There's. There's something else in this room. Something powerful. Oh, all of my favorite specials, huh? Oh, you might be stepping into paradise. Or you could be stepping into the netherworld! <laughs> <laughs> a, face a faceless man pops up from behind the counter. Anyway, I'm going to get you all that. Don't worry about it. Oh. You're your old pal Hojo will hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he starts flipping burgers in the back. Oh, that is Te beautiful. Teach sweats. Oh. oh, that spooked me. Uh, <laughs> Arch smiles. This is why this place is my favorite. Bijou tries not to scream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Cassius nods. I assume he's been here before. He's been here before. Hojo's oh, just a guy, as far as you're uh, concerned. Oh. That's interesting. You, you all right there, Teach? Yeah. I think I'm getting better at dealing with this. Good. She, uh, I think she to. Down. Yeah, so, absolutely. How is this going to work? Mm, we could talk very loudly, but I feel like that might be a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, more like, how are we gonna like lay this out for the new guy? Oh, right. Um, because yesterday mm. it was pretty much so like we all met in a bar and everyone was like, school's haunted. Yeah, and everybody just kind of got it. School is haunted, by the way. Yeah, our so, states, I guess. Unhelpfully. Mm. My favorite kind of... movie. <laughs> uh, where to start? Well, I don't think the concept of spooky ghosts and uh, well, any of that needs to be explained too well. I think our friend has had way too much experience with that as of late. Do not go into the school at night. You yes. might die. That, that's a little... I mean, yes, that's a little... Let's let's lean in on that. Uh, oh, just, I like it. Uh, I mean, you guys said you all almost died. I'm not going to, like, sugarcoat yeah. it. Yeah, if the no, kid's going to just... die, I don't want him to go there. No, 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 you're right, you're right. She just kind of leans in. I, I just wanted to say that it's not like the university is inherently dangerous. It's been a safe place for a long time. But very recently, it has been in that state of now, well, there's a risk involved with it. I didn't even know about this until, well, yesterday when I, yeah, almost died. There was something kind of crazy going on in there. And 
I, well, I think the goal right now is just hopefully get that safe again. But, hmm. That's that's kind of what, our, what we're all here for. Everyone around you, or is everyone who's had to deal with the weird goings on, not just in the no. university, but in the city of Indigo as a whole. Salaf, have you been experiencing any strange symptoms since coming into town? Uh, well... I don't know, like loss of vision, loss of scent, loss no, of hearing, anything like that? No, no, nothing like that. Hmm. Although, when I walked into town, there were those demons? Well, there probably weren't demons. Probably another type of <laughs> resident. Oh, the demons at the front. Oh, the demons at the front of no wet demons. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, just the front door demons. Yeah, those ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the the spectral visitor appears again and just goes rewrites cities haunted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Thanks yep. for the update. Okay. That's... Yeah, Orbis scared them off. I don't. I don't know. Lazily oh. floats past That's Arch. Good to know. Um. Let oh yeah, the Arch, Arch, Arch and Dodge. Dodge. That. Do Arch guys... and Dodge do not see anything. Ah, okay. oh, I'm gonna Arch. stand to the side and explain to them that there's a ghost on the table. Okay, understandable. Oh. <laughs> uh, Self has kind of been sulking for a bit, <laughs> but he uh, he finally like peers over the chair and notices Dodge. Wait a sec. Hey, you were on the train. Oh my god, yeah, you were on the train. You made it to town, and you I made got. It. You got congratulations, he beams, and you got. Thank you. I'm haunted now. What? <laughs> <laughs> in the house. <laughs> he 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 gets up. I'm sorry. Was it? Was there a ghost in that house I sent you to? I should have listened to you and locked the door. <laughs> Oribus like makes makes a makes a suggestion like I'm glad you didn't lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh boy um well glad to see you in the city uh i didn't realize you were acquainted with everyone and i didn't realize you were part of this either uh i'm sorry yeah, this is pretty new everything's pretty new yeah, yeah. fascinatingly yeah. small world we live in I, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I i don't think so this city's pretty big there's a lot of people <laughs> yeah I guess it has something to do with, well, we've all been involved with this weird stuff, and, well, we've all seemed to get dragged into it. And I can say for sure that, I mean, regardless of how we got here, I know what I want to do going forward. I want to stop the city from being haunted. It's kind of a bummer, you know, <laughs> having to live life in a haunted city where things trying to kill you. It kind of kills your morale first. Teach, you might be being a bit offensive to the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she turns actually beretta that's rather offensive to the legend there because that is not a ghost <laughs> oh I, I guess you've heard about it today and all of a sudden you're an expert <laughs> i've heard of legends beyond today beretta it's in history you should take one of my history classes Orbis is told looking you at... i don't believe in history i believe in the future <laughs> Orbis is looking at Selif proudly like they're arguing over me <laughs> uh, and 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 teach just like okay 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 um so there are a few problems of course with this being haunted for one we would very much well we were trying to figure out what we were going to do today and the problems that pop up is well one uh obviously that's a big scary haunted thing i saw the thing that was in the university and it was pretty large and I certainly not something you could just kind of walk up and take care of with a quick little exorcist or something like that. Um, I was wondering, it, is it safe mm -hmm. for the students to be there? And that's what I was kind of wondering like, too. Like uh, um, in the dorms and stuff. Yeah, Mallow has has that thing left the main building? Does it uh, go into the dorms? Well. The more expensive dorms are in the main building. That's that's where I stay. Um, uh, I don't think you'd be there because all of her dorms are full. She looks over at Selif, but it it hasn't it hasn't come into our dorms yet. Mm, that's, well, that's nice that's to know, but it's still that means that at the very least, kids will be safe for a bit. I was so long as no one's out at night, which, well, hmm, she thinks of it. 
that kind of brings us to the other problem, I suppose, is that we're not quite sure why this hasn't been brought up before, because I am faculty, and Mallow over here has experienced this before, and at no point had anyone informed or tried to make any scene about it. And I think I do kind of understand why. I mean, if it gets out that the university is super haunted and there's something terrible lurking around the halls, that means that the, well, the the university will probably be shut down. And that At would least, be bad. It would turn students. into some huge, terrible, factional conflict between the, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your story senses are fucking going yeah. through the roof. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Teach mm -hmm. continues and is like, well, quite simply, if anything gets out, it would be a huge factional conference, uh, conflict between the university, Tempest, and who knows how much other people. It would become a mess the moment anyone started talking about it, which makes sense why people haven't. But at the same time, that's all kind of screwed up, and I don't like that because students are a danger here, and I'm not just going to let that fly. I had two ideas, one of which it would be easier if this had been something that had not been affecting the dorms yet which is the idea of we go and figure it out, try to fix it ourselves, and maybe at least make the university a safe place in the city and maybe work our way out from there, one at a time. The other thing I was considering is actually addressing Mr. Daringway myself, too, and getting a bit more information from him on what's going on. Didn't he, like, uh, fire you, though? Uh, she stops a bit. Now, he very well could fire me i don't see why he would for simply bringing it up the thing is i've worked with him for a while and mr daringway is absolutely someone who um shrinks to the sign of potential conflicts i think it lines up with his character very much from what at least i've been able to see from my time working with him that well he would try to find the craftiest way to deal with this on his own but... Also, I wouldn't be too concerned about anybody's jobs. My father, being one of the largest doni mm. or donors to the university, kind of puts us in a position of power when it comes to dealing and... with the... For, and not only is Beretta's father a powerful donor for the university, but beyond that, there's a bit of a staff shortage. And what exactly would he fire me for? Why would he oh. fire the top dean of the university? He would have to give some sort of reason, and, well, I could always... If I'm fired, at the same time, there's nothing keeping me at the university, and at that point, as much as I very much want to, you know... My only concern... Going, my only concern would be the conversation that Mallow had with him. Yes. Yeah, he didn't take By the way, kindly. I have, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Mallow, you're staying at the dorms, right? Yeah. Uh, if the university but... closes down, are you going to be exiled? Mallow freezes. Beretta shakes her head. <laughs> I, You're welcome to stay as long as you need. But my degree would be in question. She's like, she's thinking pretty hard about that. Mm. I've worked so, I literally abandoned my family to, to carry on with this degree. I don't know mm. what I'd do if it was gone. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And exactly that situation where we're a bit in a rough spot here. The moment yeah. that gets out, tons of students' lives are basically ruined, and, well, uh, we're not even sure if anyone will be more safe. Ghosts are scary, but so are, well, so is everything else in this city that's so is not hunger as and famine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, Sulif, didn't you just uproot your entire life to come here? Yeah. And, and, <laughs> which is why we're not <laughs> going to let that shut down, which, Assuming that Daringway is a similar philosophy, I could at least get some information. Though I do also understand there might be a risk. I think I have a good negotiation table for being able to tell him very specifically that we want to deal with this without getting everything shut down. More information is always good. But I think I'd leave that one up to generally the whole group. So, so I, I don't know if you should talk to him, but... Mm -hmm. It feels like it's the right thing to do because it's the university, but I don't want to... Hold on. 
uh, Mallow looks at Beretta. You said your family has a lot of sway here. Maybe you could, like, put in a word? Oh, easily. Okay. My father would be willing to do almost anything for me without too much question, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Ha! <laughs> I can hear him now. <laughs> well, regardless of what we're doing, are we meeting up at the university at night? Do we want to feel... go there tonight? I mean, I haven't got to see the crazy monster thingy yet. I would. Now, I'm going to state this very clearly. I do not expect everyone to go and risk their lives to go find and defeat some scary monster. There are plenty of things that people can do without directly putting themselves in harm's way. To be honest, and... I think I will need to see it before I can like really properly assess the situation, but I understand. I think that's so, fair. And and she turns over. And Selif, I... Thank you, I Fashion. Think <laughs> <laughs> I think this goes doubly for you. You've just been dragged into a whole lot, and I'm very sorry about that. But if please don't feel like you have to do anything here, you came here to get a degree in history and well, you've already been stumbling in a lot by the sounds of it. So please also, make that decision on your own. If you don't want to stay at the university because there's a scary monster there that comes out at night, uh, I know a place you can stay. Well, I'm going to be honest. This is a lot. <laughs> I thought yesterday was a lot. But this is a lot. <laughs> yeah. More than demons? I Beretta mean... is eating this giant burger with a fork mm. and a knife. Like a queen. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that you encountered something rather uh, terrifying at the gates. Or at least unnerving. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, I think the demons are the least of my problems right now. I mean, mm. I have Orbis with me. She's, a, she's pretty good at scaring them off. Hmm. That's a pretty cool thing you said just there. Yeah. Is uh is how do I say this and not sound rude? Is Orbis does Orbis know if the scary thing at the university is stronger than her? <laughs> <laughs> Orbis gives you a gives you a look and pops up also. <laughs> you stuck up for your weird cat after she ruined your day she yeah. definitely is just like she's back on you again <laughs> oh, he's not actually mad at her <laughs> no she has been embarrassed this entire time like literally oh. just shrinking she's been mortified she's like I'm gonna protect this kid and then blew it <laughs> oh. sulking <laughs> Yeah, sulking, like, oh, I fucked up real bad. Now, now she's, like, now she's just re-involved in the situation and more animate. Uh, oh, they were both sulking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she's, she's rebonded to Selif, and uh, she, she shrugs. Um, and uh, on the sheet of paper, again, uh, writes only one way to find out, smiley face. Oh, boy. Ooh. That's very encouraging. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, I think it goes without saying that what was said here should not leave this room. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Under any circumstances. So. Yeah, I feel like there might be like you know mass panic or something. Yeah, if and I feel a bunch as though... of people suddenly found out that there's a massive scary person eating ghost in the university. And I feel as though if there was chaos like that, the ensuing disasters that would come would be the responsibility of whoever leaked this information. So we should all agree right here as a group that we're not going to tell other people without consent from the rest of the group. I mean, Absolutely. I wasn't even going to tell you guys about Orbis. Yeah. <laughs> Did oh, you imagine? I like the style. Again. <laughs> I agree. I agree. And at least till we get things figured out for sure after all we gotta kind of piece together what's going on we don't even know that anything that we'd say now would just be like fear-mongering basically yeah we really don't have a grasp on the situation yet like i said i'm i'm an investigator but i haven't even seen it so i can't give any kind of like 
Mm -hmm. A counter proof or otherwise. Assessment of the situation. I can only go off of what you guys said, and your assessment seemed to be it kills people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. <sighs> Seems like we got a yeah. game plan, I guess. Yeah. I think, Flash. The the night. I think we should be more careful going forward. So she just yeah. took a picture. And then she's standing on this barrel. Can we well, all see her now? Yes. Beretta pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he, he holds Put out, thing like, away. grabs her arm and pulls it down. Your accent. <laughs> Tiffany? Yeah, it's gone just like the charade. You guys have gotten me in a lot of trouble, you know? That's how you say charade. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, um, wait, no. Hmm. Facade? Yeah. Your accent. Okay. Sure? You're not sensing a lot you know, of those. You don't I... actually care about dance history, do you? No, I really do, actually. It's my passion. Oh, she does oh, a oh, ballet oh. pirouette off of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like teach teach gives like a kind of hesitant but then kind of full smile. Okay. That's good to know at least. So, hmm. Would you mind reintroducing yourself then? <sighs> well, yeah. I was mostly just getting tired of doing the accent the whole time. It's just... <laughs> I have to hear it so much at home. I don't want to have to do it all the time here. <laughs> uh, you can call me Bijou. Um, whatever work I was supposed to do to figure out what you do, what you guys are doing is definitely not as important as... You put the gun away! Oh, <laughs> gun away, Beretta. <laughs> <laughs> it's a reflex at this point. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a Pietro. Yeah, it does run in the family. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> My father would have lit, filled you with lead by now. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so, um, uh, mm -hmm. I work for the grapevine. Mm, they wanted a right. scoop. Mm hmm. Uh, I oh. think this is more than a scoop. This is an entire ice cream parlor. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take our steps with this one. We're gonna go baby steps. <laughs> okay. Um, oh hmm. boy. <laughs> oh, you're a you're a newsy. Oh, okay. <laughs> he kind of like... looks at Mallow and does a taps nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm up to. Of course. I'm so sorry. How many spies were on the roof with us this morning? <laughs> One, he counts himself. Two, he counts you. Then the harp. Is, <laughs> feather. is anybody in this city honest? Mally, I wish you'd come to me earlier with this. It. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I didn't particularly want to involve you. <laughs> no, I'm a big chicken when it comes to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so so you recog what you didn't recognize. Did you did you recognize her? Yeah. Uh she we almost know each other. It's fine. She almost starts to Yeah, we know each other. Um <clears throat> clears her throat and seems actually a little awkward with the situation. Blinks. That's not very truth or justice of you, but you're doing a great <laughs> job at being a spy, Mallow. Good job. She gives you a gold star. I think I'm pretty Reduces honest. It from her patch and puts it right in front of you. Yeah, but you're also, Mallow, you also know when to be subtle when you need to. Yeah, we've seen each other around. Let me just display this really quick innocu innocuously. That's fine. So we know each other. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Mallow sweating slightly. This is quite the awkward situation. Mm, a little bit, but she turns. In that case, what are your terms, Miss Bijou? That's obviously a uh, a wonderful story you've got there, but too much ice cream at once can make people kind of sick. So maybe we can work out a deal. Oh yeah, I know that. Um, <laughs> so, of course, I don't want to lose my job, but I don't want to die or get eaten by a phantom. So. <laughs> How's about this? I help you guys out however I can to spread maybe, not the word, but maybe only fractions of words, or the words that we want the people to know. You guys protect me from whatever the heck is in that building. Hmm. Each thinks a bit. 
I mean, I'm fine with that. We hadn't closed the doors just yet. She turns to Beretta and like, so I think Circles we have room. closed after this one. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. She stops. Can I Can I get Song into this, though? He's, he's a very good guy. And he's, I assume you already helpful. told him everything. <laughs> I, look, I actually didn't yet. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> you didn't go home yet. <laughs> Yeah, I, I literally did not have an opportunity, but it would be a correct assumption that I probably would unless you, 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 we agreed not. But yes, I. The circle would very closes much like... after song. Do it. Yes, okay. Yes, looks Good. Dodge. Okay, I guess you're not telling our boss what's actually happening. Question mark. Oh boy, this is kind of awkward. Arch looks around. Hmm. I'm glad you're making friends, though. She looks at Cassius. Apparently, he that's where her sweats. Apparently, yeah. that's where her mind's been for the last 45 minutes. Oh, hey, <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. Teach kind of turns up. In that case, maybe. Well, we will keep you safe, and we'll figure out about this. We'll get you more details, and we can work out how exactly this story plays out. I think if if a news line comes out that says that maybe there was something fishy in the university after it's been demonstrably taken care of and the university is safe perhaps it was discovered yesterday and hasn't been running around for the past whatever months hmm. that would be a fitting enough image that i think would please everyone in the university it would also get people safe and that's what i care about there is another possible lead a possible mm -hmm. red herring maybe if you will yeah Instead of a ghost in the university, I'm sure the newspaper might be interested in hearing about a fell cotton spy. Wooden hands. Wouldn't that get that kid in a lot of trouble? <laughs> I feel as though I'm not comfortable with that quite yet. <laughs> Why don't you wait until my date? And then after that, I'll let you know if you can run the story. That's a girl. <laughs> oh my god you fucking gremlin <laughs> holy oh, man. shit uh, as i as i said up on the roof please respect your fellow students hmm. um mm, but by the way but, mm -hmm. um i will say you did tell Harp to report Beretta hmm. on the roof. You did you did do that. What? Yeah. Cause he was talking about the gun you gave him. That was hypothetical. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, okay. We're not talking about it? I understand. <laughs> <He's just laughs> <up>. uh. <laughs> uh yeah, she kinda turns over. Uh, wait, 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 did they watch it? We were, was that on the roof or were we talking about the, the gun in the book? The gun in yeah, the book. That. Was that in the, the classroom book. or on the roof? That was in the classroom. Oh, was in the classroom. Was in the yeah, classroom. that's why okay. I got a minute. Yeah, the, the, wait, yeah, what was that? He was Never bringing mind. up a strange question about a hypothetical gun that if nah, it was in the hypothetical fine. book, then <laughs> what he should do about it. But I told him that I'd take care of it if any such hypothetical situation did come up, so. Greta, you know you... <laughs> You know you don't have to lie when you're with the inner circle, right? Of course. <laughs> I, think it's neat. I don't want to stand anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Dodge. Oh, okay. I need okay. to stretch. Beretta hops over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Teach, teach. Also, just kind of takes a bite of her burg and then stands up, and then kind of goes over. Okay, okay. Let me let me try to let's. Mm. She kind of thinks, snaps her fingers. Okay, so, okay, you were going past me. All right, she uh, she <laughs> looks at the group as a whole, and uh, and like then let's let's settle it now. Inner circle plus song is solved <laughs> here, and um she she sees a second like finger. The plan is we meet tonight at the university, and third, the questions of who we talk to and what we do after that all depends on what we see. But potentially, we could work out a nice deal that makes everyone happy and keeps the factions from tearing themselves apart. Beretta raises a hand. Yes. Inner circle sounds super sketchy. Yeah, yeah that does sound pretty like... sketchy. What, what? She kind of thinks, we, 
we should probably find a different name. That's something that that speaks of. Hmm. She thinks of it and smiles. Yes, something something strong and gives out our sense of uh, accomplishment and mystery finding, our sense of truth and justice and happiness. For we want to spread to all the people of the university and beyond. Hmm. I've been I've been thinking of I've been thinking of a name actually. Uh, I but I have. <laughs> yeah, yes, I have. She kind of like puffed up. <laughs> I was thinking the floodlights because like a floodlight we'll flash and shine hard as we can and break all of the shadows fall away at our gaze. Everything hidden in the city will reveal itself and we'll be able to, well, piece it out. I don't hate it. <laughs> I, I, I was, I'm hoping for a little bit more enthusiasm than that. Uh, if there... That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> wavy, wavy hand from behind here like eh. <laughs> I think hmm. the symbolism is is very strong. You know what? No, I do like it. I like it cuz it's simple and it's to the point. It does make sense. Usually most people I'm around would come up with something way more over the top. So I'm down for that. So Loki is good. Claps. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, obviously it doesn't have to be that, but if anyone has any other ideas, but I, I, I like it. No, I'm so, not the creative type. <laughs> um, I think it's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Teach puffs up her chest it a little bit. Do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, maybe she... if you, I assume that when you came up with this name all night last night, you also prepared a speech. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, actually, uh, she slept last night. Yeah. Oh, I didn't time who's to make fault a... with that? <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't get time to make my second speech. So instead, <laughs> I'll just be honest and say I'm hoping that we all stay safe and I'm looking forward to working with everyone. And don't worry, there are some spooky things going on, but we're taking the steps to fix it. So, well, hmm. Ah. Uh... I don't know. Honestly, I'm going to have to be honest with this one. I've walking in this one just as fresh as a lot of people here. I've seen some weird stuff in this city. I've had my fair share of strange encounters and oddities, but nothing that stretches this big, nothing that's this scary, I guess. So when I say that I'm looking forward and I'm willing to fight and move forward, know that it comes from a place of me being pretty uncertain. So please have your teachers back. If you will. <laughs> that I can agree to. Yeah. Though I will say, he turns to Beretta, I might need my guns back to do oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> she she reaches into her bag, <laughs> throws the guns on the table. Thank you. And he very <laughs> makes sure they're all the safeties are on and puts them in their holsters. Don't worry, I didn't turn your fake gun into a real gun, even though it's an affront to guns. <laughs> Thank you. My father would have caught me with that. You would you have no idea. <laughs> well, I'll just keep it on me then, and then we won't have to worry about it. Teach sits down next to Oribus and takes a nice bite of the juicy burger. Mmm. Yeah. So does this mean I have to come to your homeroom? How many days a week is that? <laughs> Teach smiles. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not an actual student at all. I've already gone through schooling. That's a... Mm. Yeah, no. well. Well, no. you're going to have to keep up your cover, Miss Tiffany. So... Oh, um... <laughs> yeah, I look forward to teaching you dance history. I'm sure we'll have a great time. And hmm. Selif, she kind of turns over to him now. I do hope that you enjoy your time in Indigo, regardless of the, the mystery, the scary things going on, the potential demons. I swear it's a great place, and I think you'll enjoy your stay here after we take care of that. If you need someone to show you around the town, uh, I, I can. I might take you up on that, thank you. And you know what? I can help I... out, I know all the back routes. <laughs> thank you. Do you? You, know what? <laughs> you and I are going to have to have a talk. <laughs> I think that with all that's been going on, I've be been becoming rapidly desensitized to it all. So, yeah, yeah. If you guys, if you guys need any backup tonight, count me in. Okay, then welcome aboard, Selif. The 
first and second, she kind of turns over to uh, Bijou as well. New additions to, she tips her glasses, the floodlights. <laughs> and the third, he points at the ghost. <laughs> That's yeah, true. I, well, hang on, hang on. Well, Oribus has not agreed yet. Oribus very... Orvis very bluntly writes down, I'm here for him, not for you. <laughs> mm. okay. That's about all that's needed, though, right? <laughs> she takes no further questions. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, then. Keep Selif safe. <laughs> she, pu- she puffs up at that. And, Selif, you notice something as you're flipping through your book. While while all the talking was happening and during during the short sulk session, you've noticed written on page after page, ground in with little bits of dirt and other other just material because she couldn't force the book open, is the phrase "I'm sorry" written again and again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he'll wait till they're in private. Oh, okay. <laughs> so right. with that. The floodlights are officially called together, and our story begins. Yay! Now, Bretta, I want to give you something very short, just five minutes. Um, oh. At the very end, since since you waited so patiently for so long, you you get to <gasps> you get to have the final word. Um, let me let me grab something really quick. Uh, this is. It's uh, no, you. I want you oh. to be able to. You're gonna. You're gonna be able to draw that one out next session. Like, <laughs> you're I, gonna have to wait for the date. Yeah, I mean, like you get to play that one out. I'm not gonna cheat you out of it and be like, "Here's a two minute scene. Your date's done <laughs> later." <laughs> no, no, no. You get you get a fun little bonus um, oh. that we end off on. Um, you spoil me. Uh, let me drop you on. We have such a great what? history of getting the last scene, and it's completely <laughs> fine. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Remember when that nice lady visited your house? Yeah. Uh, Um, let me grab you a grab you a song. Did all the music just break? That would be hysterical. Okay, Beretta. Oh. Some time later, later in the day, you're you're back at the university and sitting in a chair. Post-date, pre-date, I'm not 100% sure of the timeline yet, but you're sitting and you're reading a certain diary pulled from a certain ship. Oh, yeah. And you, you, piece, you piece through page by page, and the opening pages are nothing but scribbles. It's, it's weird. Like, incoherent sentences. And... Finally, the scribbles stop, but it's like a good 30, 40 pages and and they get they get legible. They they become human handwriting and that human handwriting develops quicker and quicker and quicker until you start to be able to fully comprehend these complete sentences. And the first one you read and understand is I'm starting to get used to my new fingers. And that sentence sort of sets your stomach churning. You turn to the next page and you keep reading. It's it's a tale of someone from a distant land, and as you as you read through, it's funny. You feel some some latent part of your ability kick in, and the voice in the diary resounds through your head as if as if you were speaking to the person in the room. I was sent here. To be some sort of answer for Gylardia. They have no ground forces of their own. Only their brutal cannons. So, I'm here to be the answer for Cerisa the Red. What a joke, period. Um, and the page continues on. As you feel... You feel a little... A little less comfortable reading this out in the open. But something something fixates your attention. Admiral Atreus has been surprisingly kind to me over the last few days. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to see the city itself. And then a voice, the same voice in the diary, cuts you off. Fascinating book you have there. 
<laughs> yeah, it's interesting how I just seem to find interesting literature. Are you familiar? I... She considers her own circumstance. I am not familiar. You wouldn't happen to be willing to share that with me, perhaps letting me borrow it for a little bit? <laughs> um, I'll consider it maybe after I'm done reading it. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the intensity of this person's uh, stare grow. Bretta, you, you start to feel a little less comfortable here. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I read over your shoulder then. Uh, I have a thing about personal space. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, I'll just be staying right here then. Bretta, you start to stand up. The present, <laughs> the present starts to grow. <laughs> So? so, I never did get a name, even though I did give you my number. Why don't you read about it in the diary? <laughs> <laughs> Beretta, Beretta, suddenly, suddenly you feel fear drive through your fucking legs, and you rapidly excuse yourself, scooting down the hallway. <laughs> she begins to, she begins to move after you. As you beat a hasty retreat into the school as a whole. You've obtained ending F diary rule. (laughs) 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 And that, my friends, is where we'll call the session. Oh That's God. like really funny, but I'm fucking scared. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that was that was from Cat Art Nut. Thank you so much for that. Unbelievable. I was not expecting this. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Fantastic session. Perfect work, everyone. Mm-hmm. Good good yeah. job. I'm a good yeah. job. Holy shit. Great. Sam, that... it's so great to play with you. Yeah. Great work. I'm so happy to play with everyone else, too. You oh, did so good. So wonderful. That was a great session, guys. Um, oh, we're so moving. Thank you, Burn. Thank you, Burn. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about it. Thank you, Burn. Um, Thank you we're, so much, Burn. We're going to be moving on to fan art, which is going to be only on Twitch, as far as yes. I know. So, so, uh, thank you guys yeah. for watching on YouTube. We're going to be cutting the stream. Uh, you're gonna have to cut that yourself, Jay. I can. Thank you so much, YouTube viewers. Uh, thank you, YouTube. I hope you have a fantastic evening. And if you're yeah. watching the VOD, thank you for coming along. Um, support our Patreons. You know the deal. I'm tired. Have a good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs>